Hello. Oh, oops. <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something. Let me switch my mic over. Hello. Good evening. Sorry, I just quickly ate my dinner. <laughs> and, um, a protein shake and some rotisserie chicken. Hello. Yeah, yeah. It is! It is the rotisserie Costco chicken! <laughs> Once again, it strikes. The stream not sponsored by Costco, by the way. <laughs> Anyways. We're gonna be solving another mystery today. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good mystery? So we're gonna join the city of uh, Gators. I opened the fridge the other day and found out that someone else had bought <laughs> It's so good! It's just such a good deal. How can you not? Ugh. I've also had quite the eventful day. <laughs> uh, so... I'm excited to play and just kind of zone out and vibe for a bit. Can you hear a little creature? He did a little click clack. Anyways, let's jump into it. Oops, I'm in the way. He's skedaddling. Okay, that's good. There's just like some tippy tappies. Ooh. All alone on a. Thursday night <laughs> on this glorious 420. Audio is truly isolated. Is that a good thing? <laughs> it is 420. Um, it's funny because I was just like having a good day and I was like wow it's an amazing 420 and then um something happened that like <laughs> crashed my mood but you know whatever oh I guess he's waiting for us oh okay good 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 excellent we shall speak Ooh. no company but please thank you oh he knows we can blaze it and just forget about everything. What do we do? Hmm. Do we just keep prodding him? <laughs> oh no! Um, no hablo inglés, no hablo español, no hablos at all. Not even one hablo. Dang, not even one? Hey, I'm trying to lay low here, so can you maybe move on, please? Da -da -da. Okay. Okay! You got me! Oh no! What have you done? Oh, now we, we're sitting here. Sorry for being so rude before, I'm just a little on edge. Normally I wouldn't tell anyone this, but you got such soulful eyes, I can- <laughs> I can totally see the entirety of, so I feel safe with you, stranger. Mm. Do these- <laughs> Do these- Do these- Do these eyes- Are they- Do they make you feel safe? Hmm? Can you see my soul through these windows? These beautiful, uh, chocolate windows? <laughs> <laughs> you see, usually I love coming to John Johnny's on my birthday like this. Oh, is it your birthday? Wow, happy 420 indeed. 
staying in the hotel, floating in the pool, eating two bagels at the continental breakfast, eating two soaps in the complimentary bath basket. I'm not quite sure if that's what they're for, but okay. But this year, I've got a problem. A real big problem. Oh no. A real, real big uh-oh problem. The thing is, I'm pretty sure the family is finally trying to rub me out. We're squealing. Oh yeah, hotel breakfast is the bomb. I didn't mean to squeal, honest. I just see a pair of earnest eyes and the secrets just start flowing out in my snoot. See? I'm doing it right now! I understand. People often tell me they they take one look at me and they feel comfortable comfortable enough to tell me all their woes, all their tragedies, their traumas. It's hard being this adorable. Oh, cheese and crackers. What am I going to do? I don't want to be rubbed out. Two-ton Tony even told me I have to meet him upstairs here at 8 sharp for the event. They think I don't know, but I heard him talking to Big Mama on the phone. The whole family is gonna come to really show me how it's done! What am I going to do? I don't want to sleep with the fishes. I have a shellfish allergy and my asthma acts up when I get too waterlogged. But aren't you a gator? That's unfortunate. <laughs> Wait a sec. You're interested in me, right? You wanted to sit with me for breakfast and everything. Do you think you could help me? Since we're such great pals, you could go out and talk to my family around Alligator New York City. Find out information about the event and report back to me. Yes, this is a great idea. Together, maybe we can collect enough info to... To save me. You want to save me, right? Right? Great, I'll text you if I need any help. Uh, how about you go out there and start? Do you have a watch? Whoa. Sorry, I don't know why the, S the SFX is so loud. Maybe I have to change it in options again. No, it is pretty low. Uh, I guess we go even lower. Yeah. There we go. That takes a little before 10 a.m. since it can take 15 minutes or so to get back here on the trolley. So make sure you check your watch a bunch. If you happen to get stuck doing some weird game-like activities while investigating, it could take time. Time I don't have. I have no idea. <laughs> Everything else seems okay. Because I'm going to have a murder done on me. <laughs> I'm okay. Think of the beach, Pat. Remember what Dr. Doopelsnoot told you. True, Dr. Doopelsnoot. He's got some wise advice. When in doubt, uh, go to the beach. And, uh, never return. <laughs> uh, anyways. Thank you so much for helping out an alligator like me. I really feel better just looking at your face, or at your super kind and visible face. Yeah, super kind and visible. You know. <laughs> yeah, be careful out there. Last two thing we need is two people sleeping with the fishes. Yeah, I don't know, maybe it's not so bad, Pat. We need to find a double bed in this economy? Right, you're so true. See you later, friend. Stay safe. Oh, look at this little guy. He's been waiting. His name is Bub. Hello, esteemed guest. If you're looking to leave the restaurant, you'll have to use the exit arrow up there in the corner of the screen. Oh my goodness. Maybe... <laughs> is, the vo is the volume okay other than the SFX? <laughs> like, overall, is, does the sound of the game sound okay? I'm still at negative 8 dB for the audio currently. Okay. Well, hopefully we don't get too many crazy sounds. <laughs> We provide all our patrons with an exit arrow and complimentary pillow mints. Now that's good. 
Feel free to use both outside of our fine establishment to exit and munch as you wish. Just don't mix the two up since that arrow is vintage. And known to contain harmful materials such as lead paint, the best, don't know, asbestos and a combination of rat poisons and cilantro. The worst one of them all. Please feel free to visit us again here at John Johnny's and have a Johnny of a day. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Let's take a look at our watch here. It's 8 o'clock on our Krona dial. <laughs> so is it we have 12 hours? Until 8 p.m.? This week, click and drag up and down. Oh my goodness. John Johnny's Pub, that's where we just were, I assume. The Brodega. Sounds like, uh, can find some bros in there. Oh, okay, only up and down. Adelaide's Arcade and Soupies. I could go for some Soupies. And who's this fella? He's looking kind of giddy. Slick Mickey. Hey, bub, you got a minute? Or perhaps three minutes? I ain't above asking for five. Or would you have more of like a New York? <laughs> this is Alligator New York City, right? I saw you walking out of John Johnny's over there and I says to myself, Mickey, you gotta talk to that mysterious stranger. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anybody who lives in New York City. I am not from here. A vision in pinstripes, they is. I ain't trying to fluff you up or nothing, but you look like an alligator of exceptional taste. Well, first of all, sir, I'm not an alligator. As well as one who might like to dabble in high-stakes games of chance and intrigue, if you feel me. Nah, don't actually feel me, I got a skin condition! Come on! Call me slick for a reason, and according to my doc, it ain't going away unless I start using that topical cream at night. But I ain't gotta listen to some jabroni with a smarty certificate, you know what I'm saying? All my smarts come from the street, which is also where I got this skin condition. Oh, ew. <laughs> and my impolite lower back tattoo? Sir. Whom? Pat the event? I don't think he's gonna want to spill immediately, so let's just go from top to bottom. I think that makes the most sense. <laughs> Damn, bro, what skin condition do you get from the streets? <laughs> the name's Mickey, but everyone calls me the old king of the cards. Well, that one guy did before he yelled at a fence to stop stealing his email passwords. Then his pants fell down. And he fell down, oh no. Into- oh no! Into an open manhole! But I have it on good authority from the paramedics that he only called three or five other people that so bada bing! Old card king at your service- oh! <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Are you talking about Pat the Alligator? Yeah, I know that dude pretty well. He's my second cousin. Oh, no way. What a coincidence. One time when we was kids, us guys got locked out of CCD after recess and missed juice and cookie time. Oh no, you can't miss juice and cookie time. We only had one granola bar between us and good old Pat gave me the bigger half. Oh, that's sweet. I'll always... <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> Juice and cookie time, rich school. Yeah, I wish that were me, right? No! I ain't crying! I had to spit in my own eyes as a display of my street toughness. Pitoo! Pitoo! <laughs> How about... You know about the... Quote-unquote event? Oh-ho! You know about the event, eh? Well, looky here, bub. It's a real secret affair, you dig? Hmm. Ain't nobody supposed to be going on and telling Pat about it. My lips are sealed, just like they're sealed up when I wake up after a night of nose-only breathing. What else? 
maybe though, just maybe, if you play a little game with Mickey here, my lips might loosen up. You think you can keep an eye on this flurry of fingies and find the queen? Whoa. Stay on your guard, keep an eye on the cards. Three card Mickey! Okay, let's go. I am- these- these soulful eyes will keep track of everything. Mickey's running a oh. <laughs> He's running a street scam. Keep an eye on the queen and pick the correct card to foil his plans. Sounds simple enough. Alright, get your peepers peeled because these hands are about to become a hurricane. See here? Keep your eyes on the lady. Where she's gonna go, where she's gonna go. Alright, I'm watching. I... Oh god, oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I think it's, uh... God, he was going so fast. Yeah, dang. Oh shoot. I... Ugh. I know I said I was gonna pay attention, but I also have, like, the memory of a goldfish. Uh... Uh... Man. Mmm... Can't be. I'm... Closing my eyes here for this one. I think it's... This one. Eh? This one. Eh? Eh? Ah! Where'd it go? Well, I guess we'll never know who won! Who blows which way the wind blows or some junk. Okay. <laughs> wow! You got a family member badge! Oh jeez! So oh, jeez Louise! Yeah, he did some real magic, for sure. Don't you love a good street magic trick? Anyways, about the event. Well, I ain't heard it from me, but I hear it's gonna be a real affair to remember. Whole family's been talking about it for months! Pat's really gonna get his, if you know what I'm saying. Skin condition magic? Oh no, he must be really ashy. Anyways, thanks for playing. Let me know if you need any of my city smarts while you're out there, rookie. Try not to lick any trolley handrails if you can help it. In this economy, in this day and age, in the year of 2020-something, those dermatologist copays are a real kick in the alligator pants, you feel me? Oh! I'm in the way, but I'm also jamming. Well, ain't here yet, so why don't you go check out the arcade? Mickey got banned for his slick fingers gumming up the machines and causing an epidermis epidemic. Oh no. In this part of the country? Would it happen to have started with a C? For a crocodile? I know you're an alligator, but like... Hmm? But that ain't mean you gotta suffer the same fate! Oh! Okay, well, to the arcade. Oh, look at our little... We can step right in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. An unknown text. Oh. Um, hello! Is this, by chance, your first time in Alligator New York City? I mean, in the city city? Not, um, Alligator Long Island or something? Damn, the skin condition's become very serious, Lord. <laughs> yeah, hopefully nobody's been too traumatized by it or anything. It is. Who's this? I thought so. Alligator cell phone, 20x. Oh, um, you don't know me. I'm sorry but that's weird. I just thought if you'd like, I could text you some tips. Should we be taking tips from an unknown number? This city is really big and has a lot of colorful secrets that I wouldn't want you to miss on your first visit. Is it okay if I help you out from time to time? Sure. Ah, uh, great! I'll be sure to text you again soon if we can enjoy yourself. Oh my goodness. What game should we play? 
Maybe we should also check the time. It's only 8.30. Wow, we have a long, long day ahead of us. Who's this? Who's, who's hiding back there? We have so many people we can talk to. What do you guys normally hit first when you go to the arcade? I always like walk around and take a look at the claw machine, personally. I like to see what prizes are in there. And if I should invest my time and or money <laughs> into trying to get the claw prizes. Yeah, exactly. Maybe we should just talk to everybody first. See what's going on, what's happening. Who's this? Hey there, you up for a real challenge? I haven't seen you here before, stranger. Alligator New York City is a big place, but we tend to have regulars, you know? Like Rocco and Bonnie over there. Those two are here every day, but you? I remember such a visible face like yours. I know, I mean, I'm... I think I'm the only sea otter here in this city. Ah, look at me being a real jerk. I don't mean to be giving you a hard time or nothing. I've just been a little frazzled since last night. I had a dream that I was a ski ball and some sticky-fingered kid kept throwing me into a ten-point hole. Go for the fifty, dingus! I tried to yell, but being a ball and all, the ding-dong couldn't hear me. Woke up in a cold sweat in my kitchen, systematically throwing individual oranges from the window into my neighbor's terrarium. That's a... Uh, seems like a pretty far gap. The vitamin C would have helped me shake it off, but all I had for breakfast was black coffee and a half can of leftover candy cigarettes. Oh no. It's important to eat a good breakfast. The name's Joni, or Baloney. If you're my fourth grade bully, come back to fight me. You're not, right? Sam? No, I'm not Sam. I'm Calico! Anyway, I work here at Adelaide's Arcade, sweeping floors and keeping all the games running smooth as a baby bomby's behind. The way she swaying makes me want to sway too. Oh, are we in sync? Oh, oh, I think we're in sync now. We, 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 we sink and... I used to work as a greaser in a shop downtown, but I love to be closer to my gaming hobby. They let me keep the leather jacket, though. And the company hairstyle. That's pretty cool. That's my cousin, and also the most genuine doof I know, so you better be nice to him, you hear? I wouldn't want to have to pop you one. I'm told I got a mean left hook, and a moderately insulting right hook. Hey, you box? I'm also boxing. Though I'm not kickboxing, so I'd only be able to throw punches. Yeah, the kick that could benefit from some anger management courses. It does feel very stress relieving. I tried to sign it up for some calming hot yoga at the YACA, but it didn't go over well. You ever get kicked by your own leg? How... how do you do that? It ain't great, bud. It ain't great. Look, I know you're here spying for Pat or for whatever reason, and that's fine. But I can't tell you family secrets, you feel me? Hot yoga, not again. Nothing is relaxing about hot yoga. It's pretty intense. Uh, I think I mentioned I did hot yoga at the beginning of the year, and that was, um, it was a time. I mean, I would go back and do it again just to have something to vary up my schedule, because I only work out at the gym, so it's nice to just, like, change it up a little bit, you know? But dang, are the memberships expensive. <laughs> to give up info that hot, you'd have to really impress me. Ooh. I wonder what she's gonna ask for us to do. So what do you think? You can roll the ball, old timer? I'm talking pinball. The old pinny bee, as I like to call it, against the advice of both my friends, family, and the supportive therapist I see on Thursdays. Yes! We support going to therapy. Good for you! Got the highest score on Lizard Wizards here, eight months running, but I'm always looking for a real pinhead to pit my skills against. So what do you say? Care to take on a pinball wizard like me? I didn't mean to make a joke. I take this very seriously. I wouldn't want to mess with her. She's got the leather jacket. Oh, we can pass this time. Oh, I guess no matter what, we'll have to come back to it. The little pinny bee! Beat their score! Go for more! She is a pinball wizard. There has to be a twist. Perhaps. Okay. Click the plunger to launch the 
pinball. When the ball's in play, control the flippers like clicking R and L or use left and right on your keyboard. Uh... Oh, we can use the controller on this game? I didn't even realize. I've been doing mouse the whole time. Beat 5,000 points to earn Joni's respect. Okay, hold on. I have to shift over the microphone again so I can get my keyboard and also not be too close to you guys like I was last time. Um, not have much desk economy here. Uh, R and L. Or no, left and right on the keyboard. Okay. Kelly Lean. Yeah, me getting up close. Um, my keyboard is also like not facing my monitor, so this is gonna be interesting. Okay, let's see. Let me check. Uh, I don't think that's right. Uh oh. Do I have to pull it first for it to activate? Oh. Oh, we can just. Okay. <laughs> we don't even need the keyboard. Perhaps not necessary. Lucky me! Okay. Darkness will prevail! Oh, where's my other catchphrase? Oh, here it is! Alligators aren't lizards, technically. True. Cobra Cabra. I would never be in pinball because I hate pinball deeply. Oh, the suffering. Okay, let's go. We gotta get 5,000. E go. Okay, so far so good. Oh. Hey. Hey. Wow, we already like. Wow. Okay. Well, we're already halfway there. We're more than halfway. Oh. 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 Oh no! Why would you do that? Come to me, little pinball. No! Okay, that's this is just bad luck. Oh, we're almost there at 5,000. So, oh. Ah. Oh, darn it. I should have done the other one. Okay, that was actually my bad. <laughs> and I still won, somehow. Did I actually pass 5,000? Man. Well, okay. Oh, jeez. We got another family member badge. Hey, it's been a long time since I've seen moves like that in front of the uh, Blizzard Wizards here. Get that ball hit and all the do whats and who's it so fast I could barely keep up. I mean, I could barely keep up. It's been a real honor to hang with another student of the pinball arts. <gasps> a puzzle piece? What are these for? Oh, jeez. About the event. Now this might just be a rumor, but word down the street, there's going to be some sick games there. Oh boy, I love games. Not pinball per se, but you know, you take what you get. Anyway, that's all I can really say. Better get back to the grind trying to beat my last high score. Thanks for showing me your supple wrist, Pinhead. Catch you later. Are my wrists really supple? Hmm. <laughs> my supple wrists and my soulful eyes. All these gators know how to gas up an otter. <laughs> yes, little creature. <laughs> He's grumbling. Why do we always gotta come here? This place is a dump! You didn't have to come, Rocco. No way. The only thing worse than being in the dump is not being invited to the dump to begin with. <laughs> oh, I've also been in a similar position. Like, you're too trashy for the other trash, which is unnervingly close to an entry from my dream journal last week. Take the shot, Rocco. Hold your horses, Bonnie! I'm lining up my stick! You gotta be delicate with these things. Oh, I've been holding my horses. I've been cradling my horses. I've enveloped my horses in the safety of a tender, meaningful embrace all night waiting for you to take the shot, Rocco. <laughs> You never hold me like that, Bon. Oh no. We're walking into a, a couple's um, argument. Oh no, fighting, please. Oh, 
and Mom is always on my case like, Artie, go outside and talk to other alligators! Or, Artie, stop hiding behind various types of curtains in and outside of our home! Oh, I guess we'll never know what Artie looks like. We respect their privacy. Oh, <laughs> sweet Geraldine! Hey up there! Long arms! You got a sec? Oh. Nice suit! What a fancy reptile like you doing at the back of the arcade! I know what you're after. That's right, I've got you pegged just by looking at you. You want cold, hard, plush! Oh, or a shirt. I want a shirt like that. <laughs> and me. And the little strawberry bag. She's perfect. Are you just like me for real? Geraldine is gonna destroy us. Oh no, I'm scared. It's always... It's always the innocent looking ones. Well, you found the right alligator! And I've got a job that'll pay for both of our retirements and poorly made stuffies! You might see a humble claw machine, but this is a vault and we're gonna break in! Oh my... she's hardcore. But we can't just walk in! No, there's countermeasures! Sometimes Norma the security guard comes by and says I'm not allowed to put my clawing chair into the aisle. Without the boost, I'm not tall enough to work the claw. She says it's a fire hazard, but most of the machines in here are! See behind here? That one! Yelling power strip juicing up everyone is- Wow. She's, uh, interesting vocabulary for someone her age. We have every one of these babies. One wrong move in pinball and boom! Place lights up like my chemistry teacher's hair when I turn that Bunsen burner too high. Who are you, my sweet child? Me? I'm known around these parts as Sweet Geraldine, criminal mastermind of the claw machine! You haven't heard of me? Honestly, I'm not surprised. I leave no fingerprints and Johnny Law doesn't have a clue. Whoa. Or Johnny Boyer from my geography class. At least that's what he said when I asked him to the spring fling. Who? What's your relation to Mr. Pat? Pat is a patsy, but not my patsy, that's for sure. He's related to some of my dad's friends. One time, at dad's show, Pat pulled the fire alarm because he thought someone was trying to set him on fire. It turns out he just had a warm piece of pizza in his pocket. No one could find him for almost an hour until the firefighters pulled him out of the concert hall's crawl space. He was covered in spiders and had eaten the pizza, but was otherwise unharmed, physically anyway. That guy's pretty weird. Geraldine reminds me of the little girl. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, I hope he doesn't have a sad ending like that one. I had to tell you about the event, I really would. But this is our first time on the job together, Mac. We haven't yet earned my unbridled trust. Alright, what do I have to do to earn your trust? Maybe we could come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. The claw machine? It's a two-man operation! I need someone who's not gonna rat me out for additional prizes when plush comes to shove, you feel me? What do you say, old-timer? One last claw machine score, the big one! Grab the prizes as she advises. Claw school! It's a cardboard cutout of a girl. My... My memory of uh, Men in Black is very fuzzy. It's been a long time. I'm sorry. <laughs> Follow Sweet Geraldine's instructions to get the perfect claw machine prize. Click left and right to control the crane. When you're ready to grab, click the center button. Sounds easy enough to me. Just like how it seems easy enough in real life. Here she is, the big quesadilla. The mother load! Inside this vault is a treasure trove of prizes. What is this music? We got KK jams in here. Suddenly, Animal Crossing. Inside this vault is a treasure trove of prizes. Had my eye on a couple of choice goods, but I need an accomplice with nerves of steel and hands of steel. A tall patsy like you can push the buttons and see the prizes. So what do you say? Let's get some cute loots for our cute snoots. First. You should warm up your tricky digits. Grab me any prize that catches your eye. Come on, old timer, show me what you got. Is this just her way of me, like, having me do her 
get, getting her little toys. Look, there's like a little otter in here. I want that one. Um, but I don't think it's possible since everything else is like covering it on top. Round one. Okay, I guess uh, we just go for the thing that's very clearly in front of us, right? Whoa! <gasps> Maybe it is possible to get the otter. I heard a prize! Let's check the slot! A big ED bar. Wow! A big ED bar! They stopped making these in the 90s! It's just like when my science class dug up fossils, or when I found my old retainer under several strata layers of anime wall scrolls. That's kind of gross. You got some chops, I respect that. But now the real job begins, how you react when the pressure's on. This time you follow my lead. There's a particularly good crystal in there. Can you claw it up for me? Wait, oh, this, this? The, the diamond? Round two. Oh, this one. Ah. Oh, Oh my goodness, the, the the swinging and the delay is just like real life. Come on, a little more. I guess it's okay. Woo! Sega can never make mini games like this. No more otter? Yeah, I know, right? Where did it go? Oh, no, it's right there. It's in the corner. You got one? What is it? I'm still into these, even though the anime era of my useful phases has already way overtaken Crystal and Horse Girl stuff. Oh my goodness, she's a horse girl. <laughs> wow, look at all this stuff. You are really good at this, but it's finally time for the big score. I can see it in your eyes, you're ready to get the ultimate prize. Give me the doll from the best, most awesome video game franchise of all time! Final Friend City! He's the dreamy one with the spiky hair. This is it, the big one! Uh. The what? He's all the way down here! I don't know if we can get him. It's gonna take a couple tries. I can't even. The, the bubble's in the way. Yeah, we have to dig him out. <laughs> Aquatic Otter. I know it is at the top. A Zach Stan. Well, 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 we'll find out what his actual name is. Wow, that didn't even go where I wanted it to go. <laughs> oh, it's clanging around. Did you get it? The ultimate prize? Spider-Man, you know, from that obscure internet cartoon? Glue bullet, maybe. I'm Batman, I'm Spider-Man. You can still see the prize I want. Here's another quarter. Could you try again? You need a doll from the best- oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm trying. He's just buried under all this stuff. Yeah. Whoa. How can you imagine if we lifted all three up? Oh, I- Spider-Man's gonna get in the way! Early YouTube references. <laughs> it's only glass, right? They wouldn't put a huge actual diamond in here, right? I mean, I couldn't take it if you don't want it. I can still see the prize I want. Yep, 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 yep. I'm trying. Well, we still got three tries. Though, Spider-Man is in the way. Why must he be so far? No! Oh! I hope we don't- I hope we can just like go right down the middle and grab it. Yep. Alright, so we still have two more tries. <laughs> yeah, uh, change the latency. Because I didn't realize latency oh there's a secret note in here should we disregard but then i don't i think we'll run out of quarters but there's a secret note what if there's clues to be had maybe i can try to get um her anime figure in one go i hope it'll go just straight past these but who's to say if it'll work uh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Why 
more crystals. My enemy phase is far more powerful. She's- <laughs> my- my voice for her has developed from like little girl to just like straight up nerd. <laughs> <sighs> I want the note. Oh, I can't go any further. Okay, maybe I can get some momentum here. Go! Yeah. That's right. Sorry. Oh, it's just a note. <laughs> my dearest Fifth William, I cannot help my mind wandering to the softness of your scales or the sharpness of your teeth. Um, gross is actually too PG-13 for a PG-aged gator like me. Hmm. Bad news, old timer. That was my very last quarter. <laughs> oh. Oh, 30 minutes will pass if we try again. But that's okay, we have lots of time. I hope her figure isn't buried again under all the stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what we're looking for. Wait. He's not here. Did she just want me to grab anything? In this case, we'll go for the otter if we can. Go! Oh. We just got a key. <laughs> Spending time! Just like in real life. <laughs> Here's a, a CD. OMG, this is just <laughs> going to be just like the secret garden. Or the time I stole the lady down the street's car carabiner to break into her house and pet her smoosh faced cat pepperoni. You know, one of those two. Oh, you want an apple now. Wait, the apple's all the way down there! What is this? This is messed up. <laughs> what is this RNG? No! I missed completely. <laughs> I don't really wear jewelry yet. I'm like 8 or 10 or something. Why did you- oh, there's one right there. Just kidding. Did it- did it- did- did the claw machine refresh or am I like going crazy? Because I was only focused on this one. If this was here the whole time, I'm gonna be <laughs> smacked. <laughs> Don't grab the scissors. She doesn't know her age. Yeah, because she's only like 8 or 10 or whatever. <clears throat> An apple a day keeps my spelling teacher away. He had to stay home four days in a row after me and Stacy DePaulo yeeted some red delicious through his condo's bay windows. Don't hurt your doctor. Oh, look, he's right at the top now. <laughs> but there's a puzzle piece here, so we're gonna get that first. I feel like that's more important. Uh, I just hope he doesn't respawn at, like, the bottom again. We can have this. I get the feeling it'll come in handy later. Yay! It's actually useful and not, uh, the, <laughs> the secret note that we thought was gonna be cool. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> My bad. Okay, he's still right here. We can do it. So I have two tries. Please. Just grab it. Oh my I'm going to scream, dude. <laughs> Please. It's just like in real life. Yes. <laughs> Please do not grab the candy. I beg of you. Oh, what? Oh, no! Oh, no! Why? <laughs> 
watching the Pretty Petal Pure show and cosplaying the Pretty Petal Pure characters and vlogging about Pretty Petal Pure. But for whatever reason, I don't want a Pretty Petal Pure doll. Blame childish whims. Hmm. Okay, so... <laughs> we've spent... <gasps> We're, we can't come back. I guess now I have to explore the library or take part in municipal team sports to pass my time. <sighs> it's Pat! How'd you get- Did we exchange numbers with Pat? I don't remember. I wanted Pat? Hello, Pat. Almost ten, can you come back? Someone came over to my table and threatened me. I thought it was- I thought the thing was at 8pm. Well, they gave me a coupon and told me to have a nice day. But that could mean anything to me. <laughs> One free tomato soup? I want a soupy. Here's a coupon I got last week. If you come back, I'll give it to you. No questions asked. I'm on my way. When soup is calling. Just drop everything and go get your soup. Whoa. You like my feet, guys? Feet reveal. <laughs> ah, don't bot me! Oh, it's just you, my new friend. Sorry, I saw your shadow over me. I thought some kind of restaurant assassin was descending from the rafters to take me out. I know there's no rafters here, assassins, but assassins are tricky. They can improvise. Didn't you have dare when you were in elementary school? You know, dare, dude, assassins really exist? At least, I think that's the acronym. I was absent a lot due to my nut allergy. Oh no, you're allergic to nuts? It was tough times for Pat at Willie's Peanut Butter Factory Elementary School. Pe Peanut Butter Factory Elementary School? <laughs> anyway, did you find out anything from the family? That's... that elementary school sounds like it was pretty nuts. It was pretty nuts! Well, yeah, I know they sound nice, but they might just be fluffing you up. You know, buttering your bread roll to throw you off the trail? Sorry, I've actually just been sitting here mainlining complimentary bread rolls the whole time you were gone. Maybe we should go to my hotel room. I think I'd feel a little safer there. And less loggy with bread. Let's go. Wow, we're gonna see Pat's hotel room? Oh, look at him waddle! He's waddling. There he goes. Oh. Find the code to Pat's abode, my safe place. Help Pat back into his hotel room. Help Pat with his outdated website. Help Pat remember his room code. But he's never told us his room code. Oh, we walk in. We walk in right now. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We walk in. Thanks for protecting me. It really helps to have someone walk me to my room. The wallpaper in here is a little intense. Kind of makes me feel like something is staring at me. Hmm. What am I gonna do? My heart can't take more than <laughs> more hours of waiting. What's the event? What did I squeal the beans on? Cheese and crackers. So you remember your? Since I was so worried about getting super murdered today, I did the smart thing and got a special lock for my hotel room door. Just a little something I picked up at the hardware store. I was worried I'd get so nervous that I'd forget the lock's code, passcode, so I saved it on my website. www.alligator.fun I even made a bu- Oh my goodness, we have to go to the World Wide Web? Oh my- <laughs> I like this water background. Generated by Geoscalies. <laughs> this is Pat's home page! Wow! What? <laughs> the internet! About me! Don't click, Pat only! <laughs> wow, look at all the page views he's getting. He's popular, he's wild and. Cutie! Life is a beach! From <laughs> Linky. True. About me, tell me about Pat. Oh, <laughs> welcome to my home page! About me, I'm Pat! <laughs> 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 me, me, 
under construction! Oh, but I want to know more about Pat. Okay, well, it says for Pat's only, but we're gonna click it. You're not Pat, you're breaking the law! This has been reported to the computer police! 91619, okay. <laughs> Gee, I'm really glad now I took those oddly specific button-making classes at my local community center. Well, you know, he's just so busy, he couldn't complete his whole page so soon. <coughs> Wow, that is an insane lock. <laughs> oh, here we are. This is for sure my room. You can tell by the unobtrusive lock I installed. Yeah, that is... Uh, I wouldn't have noticed it um, at first glance. Can you go to my website and grab the code so we can lock it? Already done and done. That's alligator.fun. Yep, I got it. I really want to go inside and see if there are any more of those free mints left. Enter the code. Oh. Nine. One. Six. Uh. I think it's nine one. That's not it. Try again. Okay, my bad. It's nine one six. One nine. Wow. Now I press zero. I'm sorry. Oh, that was a mistake. I'm getting to it. Nine one six. One nine. Yes. It's a, it's a real website? Oh my goodness. You did it! Thank you so much! Oh. <laughs> what is this? Hi, what have you been keeping in your room? Whoa! I can't close it! What's going on? Help! You gotta help me! I don't even like pink! What? We have to enter the code again? And one, six, one, nine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello, my word. This is quite the mess. Who are you two? And why have you opened my door? Uh, who am I? I'm Pat, and this is my hotel room. I installed this lock because my family is trying to rub me out. Pat, you shouldn't be telling strangers this. This is my door, where I've installed a lock because my family is trying to rub me out. But if that's true, and my password still worked... <laughs> is your lock code 91619? Is your lock code 91619? Uh, bro, dude! No way! We have the same code! And our families are both trying to kill us! Twinsies! <laughs> ah, ah, ah. So long, stranger. Perhaps in another life we would have been total best friends. Like ships in the night, Mr. Pet. Anyway, don't tell anyone what you've seen here, or I'll come for you! Endlessly! That sure was a string of unlikely coincidences, wasn't it? I hope that guy's room is okay. That's some kind of smell- I didn't even get- what did you say? I'm still trying to process what happened. Pat, do you even know where your hotel room is? <laughs> Smelled like a brimstone. Ah, uh, brimstone. Ah, this is my actual room. They're so similar, no wonder I mix them up. Oh, of course! Of course! I would have also mixed them up. Oh. Thanks, I never would have remembered that on my own. Come on in! Now, what are you talking about? They were both unobtrusive. Phew! I'm so glad we made it inside, now I can really try to relax a little. His diary. Sorry to distract you from the investigation. I'll text you again when it gets closer to 4pm, so don't forget to check your watch. You know, in case you get distracted doing a collection of menial tasks formatted in an enjoyable manner. Something like that. You got a family member badge. It's Pat! Oh, jeez. Bye for now! 
Exactly. So we just escorted him to his room. And that's it. Oh, who's this fella? Who he looking kinda Hey! No! Madame. I needed to see that person. That gator. There's something so nice about just sitting by yourself in a restaurant with a good book. My girlfriend is coming to pick me up after work. I'm so nervous. He has a totally different voice now. Is this her? Oh, you. 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 Okay, well, we got a little puzzle piece. It is 10.30. We have a couple hours, actually, to kill. Shall we go back and spend... Oh! Hey, bub, you're just in time. The Charlie got here a minute ago. Wow. Why don't you go check out the others? Uh, go check out the city. Bring Mickey a hot dog, maybe, or some protective handwear. I'm gross, so... Oh, yeah, I haven't even totally explored this place. Should we go back to the arcade? We have to... We have to get back our, our, our honor. The claw machine... It calls for me. I've got a steal for Lou. I've got my eyes on some prizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Defend the honor of Callie B. Yeah, I'm, uh... Not to brag or anything, but I'm quite good at claw machines myself. So this is- so that last play was just a disgrace. You know, can't leave just like that. Alright. Yep. Uh-huh, let's see. Okay. Uh, okay, so we just grab anything for the first one. Oh, the otter's down there, but we can get something just as good. A little seashell. A big old conch. I want to hear the ocean. I wonder if I'll hear the ocean if I put this to my ear. It said, Ocean rise will cause an irreversible agricultural soil contamination. Depressing. <laughs> <laughs> the people- the ocean has spoken. Whoa, we just got a seashell. You want another one? It's all the way down there again! This sucks. There's like, way too many stuff here. Girl. She might sell seashells on the seashore. True. Okay. Yes, I I know. It's... I'm surprised you want another one. You just said it was depressing. Go! Whoa! Oh. Man, that would've been cool. All this stuff is still in the way. I know, I'm not trying to grab the... <laughs> I know what a seashell is, Geraldine. Please. Oh! It's... I know. But you know what? It's her quarters, not mine. So... <laughs> you know, it's all good. I'm scared I'm gonna grab the ring. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Finally. Freedom. It said glacial melt is changing ocean currents. Whoa, dude. Okay. Where is he? Oh, right at the top, next to the otter. We all know the better prize is this one. But I can't risk the claw machine putting this back at the bottom again. Can you imagine? I- are you for real? <laughs> 
No! No! Geraldine. Okay, there's no way we're missing this, right? Oh my... <laughs> it's like this game wants you to rip its anger in the livestream itself. <sighs> okay, we try again! It's just like real life! Wow. Alright, what do you want? Okay, any prize? We go for the one that's right in front of us. A little otter. Okay, just kidding. We're gonna get the crystal. I had a crystal phase. It was before my astronaut phase and after my pony phase. I don't think I've ever met anyone who had an astronaut phase. Oh, you want something else now? Hey guys, e get me the boy band CD or I'm gonna explode! Oh, maybe she'll still want the figure at the end. But we want the eight guys CD. Uh... <laughs> you got one, what is it? Yes, my, my favorite K-pop group. And that's limited edition, packed with the sweat of two of the eight band members. <laughs> Gross. But also, um, I would just sell that on the internet. I don't even mind that Joshua Ransom got arrested for indecent snow tubing. I still love him. And hopefully the frostbite is on the men just like the fans' hearts. Okay. Oh, yep. She still wants the anime guy. And he's... Move! Batman, get out of the way! Oh! <gasps> you can't see it, but I am pogging right now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We have to move all this junk first, but oh, oh, fog. Did you see that first try? <laughs> OMGs! I can't believe you got the dreamiest anime Game Boy from Final Friend City, Claude Stripes. Claude, his hair is almost as prickly as a social inter <laughs> social interactions with women. Exactly what I wanted. Thank you so much for helping me. <laughs> yeah, this guy's more emo. He's got black hair. His agabros we lost. Rip. I can't believe it. The big score. Thanks to you, we had a clean getaway. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Told you, my claw machine skills would come in handy. Finally. <laughs> I'll tell you what you need to know. The event is a secret. I'm a gator, not a rat. That's right, a classic double cross. That's the calling card of Sweet Geraldine, Master Criminal. Well, <laughs> we got a little puzzle piece out of it, so. All right, I mean, I do want to check out these other games here. But it is 11.30. I say we go check out the town. To 9th Street. Oh, is it this one? Oh! Welcome to my beautiful city, says Mayor Wibbleyfin. Mayor Wibbleyfin! Fun facts! Booming bug economy! Free hot dogs on Fridays! Whoa! Too bad it's not Friday, we could have gotten a free dog. See the Alligator New York City Alligator Opera. Presents Alligator Pagliacci. The doctor. What if I'm Pagliacci? 
Map of Alligator, New York City. The park? Oh wow, we have a lot of places to visit. There's a little chunk missing here. Hopefully that doesn't bode anything bad. Uh, unsavory part of town. Where the f FUN district. Um, I want some fun. How about you guys? Let's. We, I want some fun. Let's go to the FUN district. Or can I not? Or is it? Oh no! Is this where we? No, this is not where. We're, we're not in the fun district right now, are we? <laughs> if only we could hear Callie sing. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. I look at all these Gator patrons sitting here on the on our, on the public transport. Good Gator citizens of Alligator, New York City. Please don't click and drag across the grass. Oh no! Who would ever think to do such a thing? Clicking and dragging on the grass? My word. Eat emergency. Oh, there's so many people here. Look at this guy, all the way in the back here. Also, what a lovely park. I guess we just go left to right. Gentle Lorenzo. Broline, Broline, Broline! I'm begging you, dude, please give me a hand. 901! 902! 903! Whew! Well, that's the highest number I know, so I guess that's enough. Huh? Oh! Sorry, bro, Sophia, I didn't see you there. Shrouded in total shadow by the monolith of my beefy bod. You're not going to start hitting me with a bone like the last one, are you? <sighs> Don't worry, it happens to me all the time. Yeah, I like how we have to- we're looking up at this guy like- <laughs> I'm so small! <laughs> There's a lot of classic rock references in this game. Oh, really? You'll have to point them out when you see them. Me? People call me Lorenzo on account of it being my name. I work downtown at the Bodega Fitness Center in Minimart, being inspirational, aspirational, and non-recreational. I'm very serious about my job, Bruzan. You mean Cali P's point of view? It's like this all the time. You guys just don't know it. <laughs> Pat? Bro. That's my for real big bro. You're the little brother? <laughs> well, not big big. He's kind of mild to medium sized bro, as far as alligator brothers go. He's like the mid-sized sed sedan of brothers. Me? Well, I'm like the sport utility vehicle of brothers. Assertively large, but a little empty feeling inside. Oh no. <laughs> you gotta work out all parts of you, my guy. Event? You mean tonight? To tell you the truth, Brolette, I was sworn to secrecy. On my honor over a bottle of whey protein and a stack of those muscle magazines I keep hidden under my bed. Why are they under your bed, dude? <laughs> Just put them out on the on your nightstand or something. My strong jaw is strongly closed. Though, despite my problem-free, GMO-free lifestyle, I am having a muscle tissue issue I could use some help with. You see, my visceral hugeness and perfect health has been causing a total terrible rift in the most important relationship in my life. Oh no. That's right, I'm talking about my bird who is my best bro in the entire galaxy. I mean, that's why you had to work out to fight your inner demons. See tiny Terrence here? He just can't seem to bulk up. Maybe on account of his name, but also because of his love of watching television and complaining on the internet instead of complaining at the gym, like me! <laughs> I've tried to help little Terry here beef up so he can roll with my impossibly huge crew, but he just hasn't reached his full potential. Can't stand to force my favorite broski to literally and figuratively live in my enormous shadow another day. So what do you say, Bruce Amina? Can you do me a solid and make him more solid? Oh, dang. 
fortify your bod to get with the squad. Let's go! Alright. Click to make the bird flap his mighty wings. Collect healthy foods and proteins to make him strong. Avoid the exercise equipment. It hurts. Uh, sure. Whoa, he- whoa. <laughs> swole meter. Time to get swole, you guys. Alright, bro, you can do this. Flex those wings! Flex it. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Oh, get that whey protein. <laughs> Oh no, how are we gonna get that one? Oh, no! Not the way! Get the banana! Oh, he's getting swole. Oh, wait! Okay, I thought that was something else. Okay, wait. Ah! I didn't know you could hit the ceiling! How's there a ceiling on the sky? Get the energy bar. Get that whey protein! We're almost there! Oh! Oh! Holy moly, those legs! Keep it going! Terrence is into it! <laughs> His legs are so big! <laughs> oh no! Oh, you whined a little too high! Oh! Stop hitting the sky ceiling! Stop! Caw! Caw, bruh! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just trying not to hit stuff! Oh, there he goes. Oh, we were so close. <laughs> <laughs> legs are insane. Legs for days. Hey, come on, we can't give up that. <laughs> R.I.P. Bro, no way. We're gonna get mega swole. Let's go. Oh, there's like a there's like a slight delay to his weight, so it's a little hard to figure it out. Ka. Uh, ugh, dang it. I was hoping we could get that. I wanted that protein, though. Yep. Protein, protein. Oh yeah, let me see those buff legs. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even birds dream of having thick thighs. You know it, bro. Get that salad. Oh, shoot. Oh no! Oh, your 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 legs are weighing us too much. I'm sorry. Get that energy drink. Fall. Push the banana. Fall. Oh, we missed the banana. It's okay. Oh, everything's flying by. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, what's next? How thick can he get? <laughs> get down with the thickness. Whoa! Look at that chest. My true strength is my emotional maturity! This is just an expression of my larger commitment to self-care! So true. Oh, he's really heavy now. Whoa, what is happening? Bro, your guns are in the way, I can't see! Can we get some more- oh! Can we get some more no. protein? I'm sorry, you're just Gosh. so dang big now. It's gonna be- oh! Terry, bro, I'm so proud of you. Dang, look at him. <laughs> we did it! The way he calls is so funny. Call. We did it! Bro looks magnificent. He's out of this world. Time to go post some pics on the social media, you know? Dang, now he's blocking out the sun out of my eyes. Flexing my eye sockets as hard as I can to keep the tears from flowing, It's but it's only barely working. I guess maybe what really needs to bulk up is my ability to deal with positive emotions. And also my calves so I stop falling over from my ballast-like core. Above the event tonight, well, it doesn't have- it doesn't have a way in, I can tell you that. Don't worry, though. I'm bringing up- I'm bringing my own scale, and I've only been eating protein bars and dehydrated iceberg lettuce and prep. That sounds miserable. <laughs> I look my best for my little bro. Oh, so are you actually the big bro? And again, we're helping out me and Terry here, Brolivia. Every time we're popping a particularly gnarly squat, we'll make sure to think of you. Oh yeah, when you work in, when you work in those muscles, think of me. 
Callie P. Tin Lizzie. Um, hello? Do you mind stepping approximately three to seven steps to the right? You're blocking the sun, and the luminous skills highlighter I applied is not living up to its customer review section. I've been out here all day with my new phone trying to get the perfect shot, but I just can't seem to look effortless enough. This one here, I totally have an expression, which is a super no-no in selfie town. I need to look just the right amount of disaffected with just the right amount of lip gloss. This gloss won't pay for itself after all. You know, cause I pay for it. Me. Like, I buy it. <laughs> ah, Thin Lizzy's a classic rock band. I did not know that. I'm Lizzy, but I've been trying to get everyone's everyone to start calling me Elizabeth Theory. Sadly, much like my attempts to be an influencer, it doesn't seem to be happening. Speaking of, I'm promoting Fizzy Fruit LaCroc this week. I love LaCroc. <laughs> On my social medias, would you like to try some? It's soda water that a fruit farmer thought about in passing, giving it just enough fruity essence to confuse the palate. Mmm. I love... I love... I love the the hint of fruit in my spicy water. Fizzy fruit lacroque, a consideration of strawberry. True, so true. Pat, you mean Joni's cousin Pat? Oh my god, Pat is hilarious. Last year when I spent the holidays with Joni's family, Pat got so punked on eggnog. He thought the Christmas tree was a hired assassin and ran face first into a Santa themed nutcracker display to escape. Seems like Pat's often feeling like he's going to disappear somehow. It took us two hours to get all the walnut shells out of his ears and to get him to stop wearing the beard as a disguise. He's kind of a paranoid guy. Totally nice though, love that bandana. Can you tell me about the event, ma'am? I don't know, are you here spying for Pat? He's not supposed to know anything about this, you feel me? I didn't even post about it on Snootbook, or Pictogram, or my live journal, or my dead journal! I didn't even write it down in my bullet journal just to be extra safe. Plus, then I save on bullets. Dang. Well, maybe if you could help me out, I could give you just a little info, though. You know, a little you stand my account and I stand yours. Oh my god, we, we're gonna become each other's stands? See, even though I'm totally a super tech-savvy, super popular pictogram user with over 7 followers that aren't blood-related to me, I still am having some trouble with my new phone. Bro. Us, uh, us influencers? Us influencers starting out? We got each other's backs, bruh. Trying to import my photos and they got all dinked up! I can't post dinked photos! And what will my followers do if they are denied the knowledge of their parasocial BFF Lizzie's most recent vegan cafe exploits? True. Riot, that's what. Hashtag give peas a chance. So will you help me fix my pics? I was made for this, girl. <laughs> Hand me your phone. Assemble the pics to help her get clicks. Unmix the pics! Let's go! Photos are divided into sections. Click each section to stop it in place. Assemble a complete photo to win the round. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Yes, thank you! We totally should get a selfie of this moment. Hold on, let me get my stick out of its Swarovski studded holster. Wow, is she fancy. Whoa, okay, we going kind of fast. Uh, okay, it's coming up. No. And this bottom one is right here. Aw, they're PB and J. Oh my god, this was last Halloween. We won best couples costume. <gasps> they're a couple. I'm allergic to peanuts, but don't worry, it wasn't real peanut butter. I brought my EpiPen though, you know, just in case. Ooh, we getting a little more complex here. There's a lot of pieces. Ooh. Uh, okay, we're going for the graffiti. And... And... And one more... Oh! Hey! What the... 
Hey, this isn't right at all. Can you try a little harder, please? That was the right one. What are you talking about? Okay, we do a different one. We want the the glass, the lunch picks. Lunch picks. Whoa, they're like in sync already, pretty much. Can we get the last? Oh shoot, I bugged it up. My bad. We still. Okay. Well. <laughs> Okay, I know, I know, I know, I know. Hold on, I'm, 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 I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I got this. Oh, okay, I'm gonna do the selfie now. These are getting particularly more challenging. Oh, we love an outfit of the day fit pick. Let's go, some cute little overalls. And one more. Eek. Ha ha. Yay, outfit of the day, my daily taro act <laughs> said a beautiful stranger would enter my life, so I bought new shorts. That punk won't outshine me. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so it's only for each round that we get three tries. What are we gonna see this time? A concert pick? Who's playing? Ooh, uh, okay. I see you. Um. Oh, look at that audience. Look at all those gators. Woohoo! Nice, though, to TBH, this concert was kind of a bummer. I like screaming my feelings as much as the next 20-something, but aspirating the lead singer's sweat from the fifth row was a lot. Uploading and posted! Thank you so much! I think people are really going to like these ones! Especially these cute candidates of Joni! Wow. <laughs> Oh, jeez. How come it's like, when I take candids of my significant gator, they're cute and perfect? Aww. That's so true, bestie. But when Joni takes them of me, they're like this. <laughs> Hashtag relatable relationship. And when you can smell the singer, and it's like, you know what? I might make my way to the back. <laughs> Nah, you gotta just, like... <sighs> well, like, don't tell Pat, but I totally did the playlist for it. I think he's going to be super surprised. But, like, not as surprised as the time he opened the closet on a and a coat fell on him. He screamed so hard that he pri <laughs> Oh no, he... <coughs> he projectile vomited several liters of cranberry sauce? <coughs> Excuse me. Content warnings, bodily fluids, and Thanksgiving. That noise I just made was Pat during Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thanks again for all your help, stranger. Make sure to like and subscribe. Just how, like, all of you, my sweet, sweet audience, should also like and subscribe. Don't forget. We still have three hours to spare. I'm kind of curious about this guy back here over this guy. Little guy, what are you doing over there? Skids Valentino. I wanna, um, hear something neat. Whoa, we just like, we like teleported over. Hi. Did you know, um, did you know this gazebo here is haunted by, um, a, like a hundred million ghosts? Uh-huh, uh-huh, it's true. My cousin Giovanni told me so. That's why I'm playing over here. You know, just in case I can meet one, um, so we can be friends. It'd be nice to have a ghost pal instead of being ghosted by- Oh no! Feel that, buddy, it's rough. Tell me about yourself. I'm Skids, but my mom usually calls me the other one, or who left this here? Sometimes, Bonnie Milligan calls me Squids at recess. 
My teacher says it's just because she likes me. But I think it's because I sometimes smell a little fishy since my bedroom is a spare utility freezer on the back porch. There's a lot of fish in the freezer. I feel so sad for this little guy. Wow. Sorry about that. My... <laughs> Had a little, a little freak out. I just felt so bad about him being in the freezer. <laughs> What's your relation to Pat, little guy? I like spaz. Yeah, no one, don't worry about it. I think Pat's my cousin. Like the cousin that comes after cousin. Like the sequel to cousin. Second cousin. I like Pat. He shares his meatballs with me and always plays fun games. Like this one time, we both ran in circles to see who could do it the most. Pat won and only threw up a little. He's so cool. Oh. Baby cousins, am I right? I'm so, so excited because I'll get to see Pat and Giovanni. But I'm not supposed to talk about it because it's a surprise. So what are we doing here? I might talk about it a little if you'll play games with me though. Want to play hide-and-seek? I've been practicing. Let the kid win, or you'll see him again. Wait, what is that? Let the kid win, or you'll see him again? That's a threat? <laughs> hide and sheesh Sheesh! Okay, let's go. This kid thinks he's hot stuff at hide-and-seek. Wait for him to hide, then help him win. So are we not supposed to find him? <laughs> I'm gonna hide now. Okay, my eyes are closed. Oh my god, the volume. Ready or not, I'm hidden. Oh man, where did he go, you guys? It's... Where could he possibly be? Oh my gosh. I just would never guess. Maybe behind this bush? <laughs> <laughs> How about up here? At the gazebo? <laughs> oh. Well. Obviously he's not in these bushes either. There's no way he'd be in the city. <laughs> How about you, sir? Have you seen this little fella? Oh. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to this guy. Aw, oh, shucks, next time I have to hide in a better place. One more? Okay, so we really just have to keep looking. You're not, I'm hidden! Oh, shoot. Once again, he's gone. He's nowhere to be found. Where could he be? There we go. Okay, now I understand how this works. Ah, I hid so good. You looked everywhere except for where I was. One more, one more. <laughs> My goodness. Ready or not, I'm hidden. <laughs> he would never be hiding in the sarcophagus. There's just no way. <laughs> That'd be too easy. <laughs> I hit so good, you looked everywhere except for where I was. Dang, so you were in the cursed sarcophagus. I should have known. Oh, the, the little tippy taps. Oh my gosh. That's no way. That can't be him. There must be some other guy. Probably up here. <laughs> Over here. Or in the grass. Or under these stones. Or in the bush again. <laughs> or maybe he ran all the way back into the city. <laughs> I'm a better hider every time I practice. Thanks for playing with me. Well. <laughs> oh, is it a familiar window noise? I had a lot of fun. Maybe tonight at the event we can play together again. Oh, jeez. It's a surprise, but Giovanni told me there might be a big cake. I haven't had cake since the last time my mom remembered my birthday, which was... Well... Oh no! Well, anyway, thanks again. Come play with me anytime. 
This poor child. <laughs> Don't tell me he's, like, all the way out here, because he was just, like, left behind by his mom. <laughs> okay, well. We have... Lots of time still. Let's talk to this fella. That cloud looks like a duck. Oh, that's it? Alright. I can't even see the clouds. What clouds are you looking at, bud? There's like nothing up there. <laughs> Having a good old barbecue? You guys fancy a, a hot dog? Oh, it's Tutantoni! Hey, you kiddo, how are you doing today? Me? Any day above the ground, right? Ha ha ha! Just a little mortality joke for you, since I can only relate to my subconscious fears through deflection. Hi, Deflection. I'm Dad! <laughs> I don't even know what I'm, that I'm doing it. Some days, though, are better than others, and today's one of the better days. You see, this big guy right here? This sweet piece of metal is the Grill Maestro 300X, the undisputed king of the finest grilling technology man has ever known. Yep, can't wait to fire this baby up and do some proper firing. And now all I gotta do is figure out how to start it. <laughs> and cook with it. <laughs> and hopefully stop before the rising flames consume us all. Consume us all. So tell me about yourself. My students call me Mr. Mom Jeans behind my back, but you can call me Tony. Tell you the truth, though, you can call me whatever you want, so long as you don't call me late for dinner. Ha ha ha! Good old slap on the knee joke right there for you. <laughs> I've punished my internal organs with intense meats and radioactive food callings for several decades. My best years are behind me. What's your relation to Pat, Mr. Tony? Of course I know Pat. That's one of my boys. Oh, you're Papa Pat. A smaller one of them, that wears a hat. He's a good kid, but a little skittish. A bit of a hair trigger on him. Between you and me, I think that bun could have used a little more time in the oven. Ha 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 I don't get it. <laughs> Mr. Tony explained it to me, I don't get it. <laughs> I convey infection through heartless critique. I learned it from my father. Hi, my father, I'm dead. <laughs> So, Papa Pat, tell me about the event. The event, huh? Not sure how much I can tell you about that. Unless you're talking about my wife stopping her yammering. Now there's an event I'd like to see. <laughs> well, actually, I love her very much and deeply appreciate the mutual respect and affection that is present between us. So that's good. <laughs> Sorry. I only know how to communicate in relationships through dated humor and <laughs> that stems from sexism and present in sitcoms. Maybe I should start reading those square things with the paper. You know, it rhymes with, um, l look, l look, books. That's the word. Anywho, you seem like a gator that knows their way around a grill. Let's say hypothetically that I need a little help getting this beauty machine going. I know my lips get a little looser when I hear that fine sizzle of meat being cooked to deadly perfection. So maybe you could lend me a hand, kiddo? I would love to. Save this grill master from different disasters. Manic Pixie Dream Grill. Wow. Manic Pixie Dream Grill? Hot meat loosens his lips, damn. Dang, Papa Pat. He's the throat goat. Problems keep spawning on this terrible grill. Hold the correct tool over a problem for two seconds to fix it. Watch out for special problems and obstacles. Okay. I'll do my best. Wow. Holy moly. It's one intense machine. <laughs> Gorgeous. Beautiful. Amazing. Uh, I believe we have to- Whoa, wait. Oh, you have to hold it. There you go. Float away. Okay, what is this? Fire? Can we heat it up? Ice? 
blow the smoke away. Put out the fire! Be gone, flames! What else could possibly go wrong with this beautiful machine? Oh, okay, now we're looking at the whole thing. I'm gonna turn up the gas a bit, see if we can really get cooking. Yeah, when when does the meat get put on the grill? Grab, grab, grab fan. I'm trying to grab the fan. Oh my gosh. Go away. Oh. What? What's the problem? What's happening? Oh. No. Oh, oh, there is. A lot of things are happening. I can't grab the extinguisher. What is the problem here? How do I... Hey, wake up. I got him to put out the fire. There's fire! There's fire! Stop! Hey, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> you, I mean, we're doing great! Oh, you gotta keep moving. How else are we gonna cook these meats? It's a little more and I think we'll have this thing at temp. We haven't even put meat on the grill yet. Oh my god, the fan. Marty time? What's Marty doing? Oh no! Marty, no! What are you doing? My tools, Marty, no! The, the news guys need the... They need... Oh no! There's too much going on. Marty, move! They need wind! <laughs> this is a problem that must be solved. Oh my gosh, he's on fire. Where's the fire extinguisher? Help! 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 Oh my goodness. Ugh. Yay! We did it. But where's the meat? Amazing. Ain't she a beaut? It's totally not terrifying at all with the sheer amount of things going on with the little man in overalls and son living inside of it. Extremely normal. I'm curious to know where you got this uh, grill from, Mr. Papa Pet. Ha 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 ha. Deflection. Thanks for helping me out today, kiddo. About the event. Can't say too much, but I gotta brag about the balloons I got for it. My boy Pat just loves those colorful sacks of air. Probably why he loves his old man here so much, too. Ha 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 ha. Body's eating rapidly. No one can stop the forward cycle of time. We are all prisoners of time. See you tonight, kiddo. Eight sharp. Don't be late. The event is just his birthday party, right? No way. There's no way it's his birthday party, he said it. They were trying to rub him out. Why would they throw him a birthday party? <laughs> Guys, come on. You gotta use your brains here. This is serious. His life's in danger. He might not make it another birthday. <laughs> hello, hello, your pal, the city aficionado here. Just want to make sure you know about this cool local place called Nana Roo's Antiques. I know what you're thinking. Antiques are for grandmas. And you're right! The whole shop is run by grandma. Well, a Nana. Nana Roo. There's a great local legend about the place that it's super haunted by like five billion ghosts. A little ghost. Get your ghost emoji. What's really haunting, though, is the prices, Arafel. Uh, just a little shopping humor from me to you. I'm not really rolling on the floor. Anyway, Nana Roo is as much of a card shark as she is a deal shark, so be careful. But if you have time, defo check out her colorful shop. It's tons of fun. Well, have you got time? It's already 2.15. Man, we've been here quite a bit, and we haven't even talked to everybody. I suppose, uh, can go down to the FUN district? I don't know why, I was trying to go to the FUN district first, but maybe they don't want us to. <clears throat> we can only go where the public transport will take us. They want me to think it's his birthday party. Exactly. Oh, so this is the fun district. Alright. So we're- oh, look at that. More people. 
Okay, so this is the fun district, which means we want to go downtown. So many residents of Alligator City. Everybody's so unique. There it is. The antique shop. Oh, I sell bug. I do like bugs. But not when we're trying to solve a mystery. Ooh. Don't you love a good antique shop? There's just so much stuff here. So many things to see. Look at this skeleton and this tennis racket and all of these things. Let me take a look at those swords. Oh, a puzzle piece. Oh, I bet you there was a puzzle piece back at the park. But, you know, we've uh, we only got so much time. Welcome to Nana Roos, where if there's ooze on your shoes, it's just cause of the booze. It's haunted as all get out in here, sweetheart, so mind the ectoplasm. So you interested in buying some antiques from me today, dull face? We just got in a huge new shipment of designer grandma plates never meant to be eaten on. As well as a bunch of confusing teddy bears from the 70s with realistic plastic faces. I can get you a real deal on one of those if that's your fancy. Is that your fancy? I know you kids are into weird stuff these days. Yes, sir, I see you over there. I'll be with you in a minute. Please tell me about yourself, ma'am. Cash only, by the way. Not- no, they don't take card. Well, sugar pie, as a sign may have alerted you, I'm the one and only Nana Rue herself. Purveyor of only the finest antique goods and the finest antique store owners. <laughs> Go on, honey, tell me I'm looking good for my age. Alice, stop harassing the customers. My sweet, sweet Patrick. He's my absolute shortest grandson. Why, it feels like only yesterday. He would run about the shop squealing about ghosts trying to eat his kidneys and hiding in humorously oversized vases. As you can probably tell by my expression, that actually was yesterday. That boy might not be playing with a full deck. Yo, hey you, be careful with that vase, it's expensive. Can you tell me about the event? Oh, so Pat's inviting his little friends to the event. Isn't that cute? He's such a darling, that boy. I'll be closing the shop early to get over there on time tonight. Gotta straighten all the ghosts out of my wig before the shindig, you know? Those things tend to hitch a ride. Yes, sir, I see you waiting there. I'll be with you in a minute. Sorry, pumpkin. Looks like I have to stop yapping about the event and take care of a customer. Unless... <laughs> Unless... You defeat me at a round of cards. What do you say, sweetheart? Think you can out-old the old maid? Keep up with the maid without getting played. Old maid! <laughs> Unless... On your turn, click to take one of Nana Rue's cards. Then she'll take one from you. Any matching pairs will be removed. The player left holding the old maid loses. Okay. Uh, so we have to memorize her cards. Woohoo! House rules, the younger player goes first. Are you there, doll? Are you- oh, my bad. You spaced out for it there for a second. Yes, I'm- I'm- I'm paying attention. <laughs> Alright, uh, lucky card. She, um, uh, unfortunately, unlike Mickey, she's got an actual poker face. Let's go with the middle. Woohoo! One more pair for you. You might not know it, but this is my lucky pick and flipper. Okay. Going with the um, going with by chance and luck here, so this one. Oh, it's her turn. Just kidding. Sometimes it feels like the pairs want to find me. How many cards are left? Mine just take one. Okay, this one. Woohoo! <sighs> You're not pulling the wool over my eyes, are you? 
Find so many pairs, they should call me the matchmaker. Phew, I really needed a pair! I've got customers, sweetie, take a card. Ooh. 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 Mmm. Uh, this one. Woohoo! <laughs> well, luck, who's got the lucky fingers today? My pick, you say? Well, well, well. That's a pair for me. Well, how about that? You won! Yippee! We won! Well, my stars and garters, you really beat me, fair and square. You know, you see my older sister Constance around, you should try to coerce her into playing around with a doll like you. I think she'd get a real kick out of it. We're in! Yes. Just don't stare at her cards. She gets a little feisty about that. So about the event. Make sure you get there at 8 sharp. If you get to dawdling, you might miss the big surprise! Be sure to knock Pat's socks off. Wait, does he wear socks? Is he one of the shoe-wearing alligators or the non-shoe alligators? Hmm. Well, well, something will get knocked off the boy. We'll make sure of it, guys. <laughs> See, I told you, they just want you to think it's a birthday party. <laughs> hey again, your friendly city guide here. This morning, have you been finding any puzzle pieces? Yes, I have. They've been jangling around in my pockets. I thought so. You can find a lot of fun things you might not expect in the city by clicking around. Puzzle pieces, secret baubles to look at, interestingly shaped sewer rats. It's a real menagerie. Maybe you find enough pieces, you'll be able to do something good with them. Like unlock something, or make a small blanket for a family of chili squirrels. That is oddly specific, but okay. The world is bright, so have lots of fun looking around. Thank you, stranger. Oh look, another puzzle piece. I have not been doing a good job investigating then, if they're just kind of everywhere. Oh, yep. There, there's a lot to be seen here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I guess we can walk forward. Oh, that's the exit. <laughs> oh, just kidding. It's not the exit. Buno Giorno. I don't think that's how it's spelled. City pal here. Did you know that's how they say hello in Italy? At least that's what it said on the back of my Chris Price <laughs> Ricey's box today. See, There's lots of different alligators from all over the world here in Alligator New York City. That's why they call it a melting pot. Not because of that strange smell the sidewalk gives off in hot weather as I originally thought. If you want to meet any interesting people during your stay, maybe you should start on the trolley since everyone uses it. You never know who, you're, who you might strike up a conversation with there. I didn't realize we could talk to people on the trolley. Or you, who might throw a bag of hair at you and run, then run away. That's a big city for you, full of surprises! Wow, thanks. No, where's my glasses or my magnifying glass? What is this? Ooh. Perhaps. Oh, there's a baby. Excuse me, stranger. Can I trouble you for just a moment? You see, I need to seal a deal on a big sale. I'm talking huge. A ten foot tall coat rack for exceptionally for exceptionally affluent and tall alligators. Keep an eye on my granddaughter napping and let me know if she gets if she's getting fussy. Angel Face is a very good girl, so I don't anticipate you having any weird problems or strange happenings at all, none! Just keep your peepers on this monitor and play her a little music if she starts to wake up or throw on her nightlight. Yada yada, you get it. Very odd that you wouldn't want me to be a stranger watch your baby. Just doing a babysit, nothing weird about it. Watch a totally normal baby. That sounds totally normal, let's go. Don't let don't let ghosts possess this baby. Target ghosts by hiding them with the ghost finder on the right. Uh, damage ghosts by using the monitor functions or with the brightest light. Alrighty, haunted baby time. Makes uh, lots of sense, you know. Well, they're coming. Wait, how do I... How do I stop them? Wait, what? 
Oh, there we go. I see. I see how this works now. Oh, shoot. Wait, where's the blue? Where's blue? Oh, gosh. It was just white. My baby almost got possessed. Five nights had bebbies. I understand how this works now. Ooh, there they are. Have some groove and... Uh... Oh, orange. Orange. Orange, 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 orange. Night light. White. Oh my gosh, they are coming fast for this baby. Green. Uh, pink. Uh, orange. There's a lot of them. Whoa, white! No! Haunted baby! No! Orange. Oh, no, pink. Don't you love the white noise? Baby's been haunted only once. <laughs> Orange. Uh, pink. Uh, green. Oh shoot, green. Oh, there's a white coming by. Stop. Oh my gosh, it has to be all the way. White. Orange. Oh my goodness. The oh, the white one didn't go away. Oh no. Pink. Okay, green. They have to be... Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Again, white. No! Oh! No, stop hunting the baby! Orange. <sighs> baby safe. Baby only got haunted four times. It's okay. Baby has been blessed with four ghosts. Now it's like you have four babies. <laughs> I'm back uh, and look at that. Sleeping like the tiniest babyest baby tiny angel. Times four. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm baby. <laughs> Barely possessed a baby. Yeah, of course. Just the essence of haunted baby. Sorry to task you with such a bore, but I do appreciate you helping out an old gal out. Tell you what, any items with water, fire, or bee-related damage are 10% off just for you. Don't say Nana never did nothing for you, kiddo. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks, Nana. What's up, Pat? Oh, is it four already? Hey, it's me again, Pat! It's almost four and I could really use your help. Do you know anything about shoes? And the wearing of them they're in? So you're not the shoes type of wearing alligator. A couple of things. I wear a nice pair of kicks myself. Perfect! Could you come meet me at my hotel room? Just make sure you aren't followed by any shifty characters. Or college-age ca canvassers in cargo shorts. I already gave all my dollar bills to that guy pretending to be a statue outside 4th Street. I'm on my way. I'm on my way, Pat. I'm walking. Oh. Yeah, they don't want to talk. They just want to get on- get, get to their destination. Yeah, walking. We walking. Who is this fella? This guy. Nervous Dairy. Good evening to you, fellow traveler. Have you come to my imbibe some ales after your long journeys as well? Go on, fetch us your finest novelty wine based on a popular sci-fi television show. Nice suit, I like dabbling in a little bit of cosplay myself. Why, just last year at Alligator Comic Con, I dressed as a character of my own creation. Darylus, the great wizard of the north. My brother Mickey helped me put it together, though he did get it a bit slimy. I hope you also don't have the street skin conditioned, my fellow. My young fellow. I'm Derry, known as the terror of the east side and most magics, the happening card game circles. <laughs> Cosplaying it as an OC. That's some, um... You know, that's- you gotta have some moxie to do that, though. On campus, I'm known as Terror of the AP Biolab, or the one with that haircut. 
Oh, we got a puzzle piece. Nice. What's your relation to Pat in theory? Pat is my second cousin, as well as my second favorite person to play Dungeons and Dragons with. The first being my internet friend Carl, whose dad got rich bite coin mining. Wow. Pat's a bard, so you know, pretty party useless. For his singing voice, though, he can really wail on that juice harp. So Pat can sing, huh? Yeah, it's a party. A party, eh? What kind of party? What, am I not supposed to say that? <laughs> Yippee! You got a family member badge. Oh, jeez. Huh? You're leaving already? Well, safe travels, my fellow traverser of the mortal plane. Perhaps we will meet again in another realm or on an internet forum or role-playing. True. <laughs> I'm not a stranger to uh, internet forum role-playing. Let's go! Hello, esteemed guest. Mr. Pat asked me to inform you to come straight to his hotel room upon arrival. Oh, my bad. You were waiting for me, bub. I was just talking to old Derry over there. He also asked me to warn you to knock first, in case he was wearing pants. Okay. But not to say that second part out loud. Oops. Kindly forget what I just said and come with me. I'll walk you to Mr. Pat's room at once. <laughs> what did he mean? If you'd be so kind as to click and drag along this hallway, we should arrive shortly. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> He's schmoovin', we schmoovin'. <laughs> oh my, how embarrassing. Please don't tell the internet that we've had a biohazardous incident again. And of course, I would never. Do I look like the kind of person who is on the social internet? I think we're here. Thank you for your patience, esteemed guest. We've now arrived. Mr. Pat is expecting you. Please just knock in case he's... Have a Johnny of a day. True. Don't want to intrude in case he's... Wait, that I didn't knock. Welcome back. I was just trying on some pit and nothing. I wasn't doing anything, actually. So, have you talked to more of my family? Found out any... <gasps> oh, gulp. Not... <laughs> gulp? Plans? You think they're throwing me a... No, no. You're totally wrong about that. I would definitely know if they were doing that. Plus, it sounds a little far-fetched, don't you think? Yeah, you guys, don't you think it's a little far-fetched? Why would they throw him a birthday party on 420? He can't pull one over on old Pat on his birthday. That's what I always say. Well, I say it sometimes, like, once a year. You know, on my birthday. No way, they're definitely putting together a systematic plan to end my moderate to small life. But I appreciate you putting the thought in. Maybe if you talk to a few more people, you'll find out something we can really use. In the meantime, though, I actually called you back here because I needed your help. You see, I'm... I'm having a problem. A shoe-related problem. I don't usually wear them. But I figured if I did tonight, maybe I'd have better luck hot-footing it out of the event to safety if I need to. Good thinking. The issue isn't my usual shoeless, pantsless nature, but the drawer is where I actually keep all my things. Last week, my Nana Roo gifted me an antique armoire from her shop as an early birthday present. It's big, spacious, practical, and so super haunted that it's leaving a weird stain on the parquet flooring just by existing. Ew. I haven't been able to find any of my shoes, and whenever I open a drawer, weird stuff happens. Here, why don't you see for yourself? Let me see the haunted drawers. Peruse for shoes. Soul searching. We all gotta do some soul searching one of these days. Find a pair of Pat's favorite shoes by clicking on these suspicious drawers. Be careful, if Pat gets too scared, he'll give up on shoes forever. Oh no, footless forever. The dogs will always be out, never contained. After each round, the contents of the jars will shuffle around. Spooky. Real scary, like. Oh, look at my shoes. Man, I look so good in my little pinstripe suit. Help me find my shoes, please. Anxiety meter. 
Oh, I was not paying attention. Okay. Hey, a shoe! Let's find the other one! Okay. Uh, this one. Oh no! Scary! Scary! Uh oh, Skilly! <laughs> Not the grippers! That's another shoe! Hey, a shoe! Let's find the other! Gross stuff! Sorry, pet. That's no shoe. That's not a shoe either. Spooky Skilly! Spooky Skilly! Oh, that's just a little ghost. Man, now I'm just pulling out all kinds of stuff that aren't shoes. And then staircase to nowhere. Another shoe! Another gripper. Hey, a shoe. Let's find the other. Good call. Oh, I already opened that one. Oops. How about this one? I don't think I. Oh. What's this not the same one that I opened previously? Will I find another shoe if I just open the same one? Well, we already found it. It's in here. Oh, okay. I see how this works now. Well, we got them. Great, we made a pair! I see. Okay, so you didn't, you didn't even get to see what's in them anyways. We just clicking around until we find stuff. Look at all the bugs! Again, another shoe. Pretty sure that was the same one. You just have to find the other one. Is this? No. Oh, are these... this... Oh. Okay, a different shoe. Uh... <laughs> Creepy. Creepy, spooky. I'm pretty sure I've clicked all of them now. So... Is it just... <laughs> we just... Is it just luck now? Is that it? No shoe here. Oh, just kidding. Uh... Yes, this is that shoe. And this is that shoe. Wait. Hey. mirror. <laughs> hey, what have I not opened? I feel like I just went through it. So the shoes are here and here. It's not here. Uh, it's not here. I don't think it's any of these top ones. Pretty sure I checked this one already, if not this one. I'm pretty sure I opened this one. I think I thought I opened that one. Or this one. Oh! Okay, there it is. Oh, okay, it, it's... The... This one. <laughs> oh, are you getting spooked? Are they too scary? Is this your anxiety meter right now? <laughs> Across because. Oh no! You're just gonna go across so I don't lose track. Okay, nothing at the bottom. Okay, what is this? This is awful. I know this is the other side. <laughs> There's a shoe. Okay, not here. I'm sorry, pet. You're gonna suffer until we find this shoe. Are you serious? This is just my luck to like pull all the scary stuff. Pat, no! <sighs> okay, th there's. It's between one of these. Which do we go for? Put my bets on the big one. Ho 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 ho! <laughs> Whoa, wait! It's not this one? Was it this one? Oh my gosh, it's this one. I could have sworn it was this one. Is it this one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Made it by just a hair. Pat, I thought you said you only had... 
Well, I thought you said you don't wear shoes at all. How do you have so many pairs of shoes? Can't believe it. You found all three pairs of shoes that I own. Every shoe kind is represented here. Brown, sneaky, and tropical. That's true. You should always have a brown, sneaky, and tropical pair of shoes. You know, looking at them now is kind of giving me performance anxiety, actually. Maybe I should just go bear flipper like I usually do. <laughs> sorry, I'm just so nervous. I'm not thinking straight. I'm sorry I made you come back here for nothing, but I really appreciate that you did. If you don't wear those tropical sandals to your birthday, I'll be livid. <laughs> Lots of shoes he doesn't wear really is like me. Down to the anxiety meter. I know that's how it works. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm getting all mushy. You get back out there and dig up more dirt and I'll text you just before... Gulp. The event. So see you later, investigator. Oh! Oh my gosh, I just finally realized we're an investigator. <laughs> Uh Okay, 4.30. We have less than... Oh, yeah, like three and a half hours. Bub's idol, yeah. E. Let's see, we have not gone to uh, the unsavory part of town. What kind of neato characters will we find there? Surely, lots of friendly people, right? <laughs> Who's this guy? What are you looking at, huh? What are you looking at? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> A very adult bar? Oh no, is this safe for stream? Hey buddy, you're a good old guide here. Just wanted to warn you, in a city so big, there are bound to be parts of town that are a little seedy. I'm talking seedy tough guys. Seedy tough guys who eat the seeds of things without spitting them out into a napkin politely. Ew, gross. I can hear the crunching of sunflower seed shells beneath my feet. So just be careful. Don't go clicking around in back alleys or anything. Never know what you might find. We always check the garbage, everybody. And what do you find? A little treasure. Oh my goodness. I know you guys shield your eyes. I don't know if this is safe. Is this safe? Is this YouTube safe? Kind of scared. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> In 1964, Margaret Hamilton saw a newspaper advertisement for MIT's Instrumentation Laboratory, which was hiring a team to send man to the moon. Margaret applied for the job because no one had ever done it before, and she was the first programmer and first woman to work on the Apollo mission. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so... Not the girls! Ugh. It's too much for me. As a software developer, she oversaw the creation of Apollo's core rope, a complex series of wires strung through donut-shaped material. Each strand of wire had to be precisely woven, and they were hand-strung by a team of former textile workers. Margaret called them LOLs, or Little Old Ladies, and she was called the Rope Mother. Because this system of core rope was so reliable, it was the technology behind the Apollo's program navigation and guidance system, which allowed the mission astronauts to land precisely on the moon. In fact, Margaret's innovative error detection system saved the first mission to the moon. Three minutes before the lunar module was scheduled to land on the moon's surface, several computer alarms went off. The hardware was overloading. Margaret's system allowed the mission computer to drop lower priority tasks and focus its processing power on the navigation needed to land the module with only 30 seconds worth of fuel remaining. Wow. She made sure Apollo 11 and many other space missions were safe with software. That's so awesome! Margaret later led the team that developed the software for Skylab. First, um, how fast can I read this? First American Space Station. She founded two companies to develop more error detection and recovery systems. In 2016, she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom Award from President Barack Obama. Wow, Mr. Obama? No way. No, oh, okay. I thought there was going to be more. Hooey. Girls, girls, girls. I'm getting sweaty. There's so many ladies here. Wow. Wee! Look at it, I want cookies. Welcome, please sign our guest book. Where's the guest book? Is it this? No. Is this. No. I guess we can only talk to the ladies here. 
Hey, you know, beloved space movie franchise Space Fight, Episode 7, Return of the Guy? Copyright? Question mark? Remember when Bananagan Cloud Pincher is revealed to be the guy? I just feel like people really misunderstand his character. Ooh, this is also affirming. I'm approaching max validation. Makes me want to strut right out of here and start a revolution. Yeah, you go. Girl power. Let's go, ladies. Excuse me, I'm clearly trying to take notes on the material, so shoo! Yeah, my bad. I've attended advocacy talks all up and down the East Coast, but this one by far has the best lemon square and brownie selection. If only I could have some. I can't have any until I sign the guest book, but I don't know where the guest book is. Am I in the wrong room? This is definitely not a support group for people who have grown too emotionally attached to vloggers. <laughs> Oh, we love to be parasocial, guys. Hey, Emily. Yeah? You want to go get sushi burritos after this? I know we're trying to save money, but I hear the siren song of the sushi rito calling me. You had me at hey. Mmm, sushi rito. That sounds good. Oh, someone new! Have a seat! We're just about to get started. Is that it? Whoops. Cassandra, with e oh, you're not writing notes on the lecture. You're writing fan fiction. That's gonna go on AO3 later. Give me the link. I need the link, ma'am. Cassandra, with every beat in my heart, I long for you. Douglas whittered, his slippers padding across the ballroom to meet her. His lavender orb sparkled with unspoken love for her totally slamming bod and personality. Dang. Okay. We gotta get out of here. It doesn't look like there's too much else going on. That was spicy! <laughs> Learning about AO3 on a Kali stream. Where else? Where else would you have wanted to learn, right? Hey man, you got any change or novelty tie-dye apparel? Wow, Star Child, I can like feel your energy from over here. I'd say it's what's harshing my whole thing right now. But the truth is, I free cycled some really gnarly bagels for lunch today out of the dumpster behind the furniture store. My mellow has been thoroughly pre-harshed. He's got the crystals. He's in his crystal phase. Huh? Why would there be bagels in the dumpster of a furniture store? Oh, throw pillows? Bummer. Listen, who among us hasn't woken up at noon in a van under a blanket felted equally from stranger lint and candy wrappers? It's no wonder I got into the wrong dumpster. If anything, it's fate. Right. Can you tell me... I want to know, can you read? Can you tell me about the Zodiac, maybe? I'm Aiden. It's totally chill to meet you dot com dot org. I sorta knew someone who would seek me out today. I'm like a bit of a clairvoyant, according to some sub forums I visit online. Plus, I own a somewhat unsettling amount of powerful crystals. Their, pot their potent energies course through me to my inner core. Which is great, since I spent the last of my dosh on some suspiciously expensive crystals, and my inner core is super starving, man. What's your relation to Pat? Did you say Pat? He's a pretty cool guy. Kind of dresses like a, a preschooler, though, if I'm being realsies. My little sister Lizzie is dating his cousin, so I guess you could say we're kind of like family. Wow, this family tree is getting pretty big. You can say anything to strangers, really, no one can stop you. What do you know of the event? What does the universe- what do the- what do the energies in the universe tell you? Tonight? Oh, dude, I'm sorry. I really can't tell you much. I've been sworn to secrecy. I could actually, like, probably tell you a few things if you do me a solid first. You see those suspiciously expensive crystals I mentioned earlier? Well, those little mamas were also suspiciously powerful. From just three nights of holding them, even when I had to get up to do pee, I feel mystically charged enough to access my innermost self. Wow. But in my tireless questing through the crystal concentration arts, I just don't have the time to shower or dust my pewter miniatures. Besides, bathing is a way for the man to keep us down. You should be sliding across the floor on an oil slick of your own creation, like nature intended. My aromatic scent keeps away a lot of unwanted company, like solicitors and my father. 
But it invited others. I'm talking about flies. These little buzzing buzzkills keep harshing my mellow. They're making it impossible for me to concentrate on my inner light to do it inner right, if you know what I mean. <laughs> More damn, they put Smash players in this game. Could also uh, say League, but you know, Smash is pretty up there. If you could just swap them away from me while I'm getting my meditation on, I'd be happy to do a solid in return. So will you be my spotter swatter? Man, I could be your spotter, but I don't know about your spotter swatter, bro. Slap a fly from an icky guy. Ew! Meditation infestation. Let's go. Click on flies and hornets to attack them with the fly swatter. Hornets take extra hits. Careful, don't swat butterflies or Aiden. Sounds easy enough. Oh, look at this mystical power meter. Alright, see dad? I do have friends. Okay, where are the flies? Oh, okay. There's not the... The SFX is so loud, bro. Hey, How can you meditate with this noise, dude? We got a party up in here. Oh no! Yeah. It's happening! The sub forums were right! Oh, he's feeling the energy of the universe. I have to keep going. Oh, wait, I. Where are they? Stop coming from up here. I'm busy dealing with these guys. Get away. Get away, get away. Oh, hornets are tough. Go away. They just keep secretly coming from the top. Whoa! He's becoming the avatar. I'm starting to feel the cosmos and pick up Wi-Fi. Keep going, I'm almost there. He's charging his crystal, bro. Oh no. Hey, get away from him. Oh shoot, shoot that's a butterfly. My bad. Stop being with the butterflies. Oh no, what happened? Why is there still buzzing? What's happening? <laughs> oh no, they're everywhere. Literally a monument to his own hubris. Aiden sits before you. Aiden sits you. Sits. I can't focus with this buzzing. Sits before you and still is a statue because he's one of those now, apparently. You reflect on how crystals are nothing to be trifled with as well as how they're really cool. As you inspect Aiden Soap's stone exterior, you note the still lingering smell of buddy couch cushions and patchouli. Uh, perhaps he's still in there after all. Look at the buzzing. Oh no. He's... he's gone. He's a goner. <laughs> we could have had the answers to the universe. Wait. He's a... Stoner on 420. <laughs> okay, we're going in. <laughs> hey, who is this handsome looking fella? The knife. <laughs> Leave me alone unless you want a knuckle sandwich. Seriously, do you want it? It was the bar special of the day, but I ain't got the card to eat it now because I got out because of nervous guts. No, it's the knife. That's not Majima. Anyways, what do you want? I don't really have time to talk right now. I'm waiting for somebody. But maybe they're a no show. Who are you? People call me the knife on account of my design containing sharp edges. Yeah, you're looking pretty sharp, buddy. And how I poked my eye out in a freak jack-o'-lantern carving accident back in fourth grade. And cause I'll cut ya! Out of extracurriculars, if I catch you in the hall without a pass, I'm a guidance counselor for Miss Pity Snoot's School for Snobby and Gifted Middle Schoolers. The nickname is just there to scare the preteens, to be honest. Wow. Hat? Whoa, it's, uh... It's them! On, on, on the... It's them! Them. 
<laughs> yeah, I know, Pat. Who is asking? Oh, you are right. Right. Sorry, I'm a little socially anxious right now. Don't worry, if I try to vibe with him, maybe he'll give us answers. <laughs> the Daft Gators. And basically all of the time. I've known Pat since high school when the seniors got paired up with the freshman buddy to run the three-legged race. As the gym teacher tied the rope around our legs, Pat flipped out and thought he was being kidnapped. So I ran in like a maniac down the football field with my gym pants to feel attached to him. That's how I got my other nickname, Birthmark Butt. <laughs> since then we've been good pals in spite it. Love that weird little guy. Look, you keep pestering me. Didn't I tell you I was waiting for someone? <sighs> Gotta be honest with you, I ain't really waiting for nobody. I'm just here at the bar to practice being casual and meeting other folks. You know, in a romantical-like manner. Oh. But I always seem to say the wrong thing and scare other gators off. How was I supposed to know complimenting someone's bulging neck veins was weird? She looked real cool! Ugh, but anyways, between work and my somewhat bad personality, I don't get out much. It's so hard to just meet people in a non-weird way, you know? I wish I could just practice or something. Hey, wait a minute, that ain't a bad idea. If I can just find a buddy to practice dates on, I could be way more ready when the real deal comes along. I know you're only talking to me because Pat set you up on one of his weird, wild, and goose-like chases, but I ain't got a lot of friends to tell you the truth. So, um, maybe if you could help me practice, I could help you out too? What do you say? You want to go on a fake date with a rusty edge like me? With a knife? Oh. Make him blushy by getting mushy. <laughs> Mac that knife. Let's go. This game has it all. Take a lonely lizard out on a practice date. Click to decide where to go, what to do, and how you end the evening. And you're going to get an inside look at the, the great romantical mind of Calico Pascal. How do you feel about the change of setting? Let's head over to my workplace, and you can help me out there. I'm gonna- oh? <laughs> Even her cursor is- <laughs> I just gotta- <laughs> The knife. <laughs> you look, you look into his beautiful eyes. That, that jaw. Welcome to the hollowed halls of the Alligator International School for Gifted Youth. The kids are on break right now, so it's only us lonely administrators. Me, I'm the only one. I need a big favor from you. Oh. <laughs> You see, I have a meet cute tomorrow and I don't know what to do or say or feel. My friend Karen, who works in the front office, set me up with a friend of hers. Not usually the blind date type, but she says he's really dreamy. Tall, which I like, and big, which I also like. Wow, me too. Bestie, you have good taste. She says he's a cool, quiet type, but he has a sense of humor and a big heart. And between you and me, she said he's a real dragon in the dojima if you get my drift. Oh man. Aren't you a lucky guy? Wonder what she told him about me. Ugh, all this negative thinking is messing with my mojo. You seem like the strong silent type, and you're cute enough that it intimidates me just a little. Please, you gotta help me practice for my big date. I need a boost of confidence, I need it now. Yay! I mean, um, cool. Thanks. Karen arranged it all with my date. We're going on an adventure first, then out to dinner, then afterwards. Who knows? Haha, <laughs> natural laughter. So, uh, what kind of adventure would you take me on? Impress me. <laughs> uh, obviously we're gonna go to the beach. Duh. Who doesn't love the beach? Great, let's go! Well, come on, I can't pretend we're going somewhere if we don't go somewhere. The whole school's empty, don't worry. Wow, we it's, we going to the beach? Hey, the beach is pretty nice this time of year. Oh, okay. Just a nice change of scenery. <laughs> that was a sweet idea. I know it's not really the beach, we're playing pretend, remember? But it's only our first date. 
I didn't bring a towel or a swim trunks or sunscreen. Plus, we're going to dinner later. Am I going to be all sandy at the restaurant? Oh, you're okay with walking along the boardwalk? Well, that's nice. My mystery date probably looks great in swim trunks, though. Get a hold of yourself with a knife. It is fine, actually. I'm glad we're doing this. It's been a while since I've been on a real date, like, with an itinerary. Everyone I date these days just wants to watch a TV show on an old couch. Don't get me wrong, I'm not above staying in and getting cozy. But I think a first aid should be really special, you know? Yeah, treat- you guys, you gotta treat this man right. Hmm, what's this? You brought me a present? B but I didn't bring you anything. Well, that is a change of pace. Old-fashioned, but in a nice way. Gimme, gimme! I've brought you... Nice flowers to this lovely day on the beach. <laughs> oh, they're lovely, thank you. Karen didn't warn me I was going out with such a charm, or... Getting a little hungry. Do you mind we head to dinner? A reservation? Wow, you came prepared. You know it. That's how Calico rolls. And just impressed, I see. That shirt really brings out your eyes. You like? I made sure to pick out something nice for you for today. Didn't wanna... I didn't wanna look kinda schlumpy on my first date. <laughs> Is that too much? I'm trying to roleplay, but it feels a little silly. You're doing great, though. So, where do you want to eat? I heard you were quite the foodie. Ooh. The knife would probably love somewhere cool. Aesthetics over something too fancy. You like something with somewhere cool with, like, actual food. <laughs> hey, this place is really swanky. I'm impressed. I spend all day giving advice to middle schoolers. I love my students, but they can be real cruel sometimes. The other day, one of them told me outright that I wasn't going to get married because my jacket was ugly. It's like, hey kid, you do the best you can when you have to buy clothes on an educator's salary. Look at me, I finally get out of school and I can't stop talking about the munchkins. Wow, a family man at heart. <sighs> Um, yes, we can totally change the topic to me. <laughs> Your scales are so shiny. Your tail is so long. You have such perfect teeth. Hmm. Let's go with the teeth. I think that's good. Um, thanks. You have a nice smile, too. This is me, role-playing in awkward silence. Come on, my date's gotta be more charming than that. What is wrong with... Saying your teeth are nice. They are looking kind of glowy here. I'm going to pretend you said I was cute and move on. I feel like I can really be myself around you. It's been a while since I've done this. I mean, not a long while. It's it's just hard for me to meet other alligators. That feel when you're out of the dating game for too long. I don't do this very often. Stop laughing. This is precisely why I wanted to practice. What I'm trying to say is, I'm having a really good time with you. If you don't have any plans after dinner, want to come to the Spring Festival with me? Oh my gosh, you're being invited to the Spring Festival? You live in Alligator, New York City for how long and you've never been to the East River Spring Festival? Then you have to come with me. There's food, carnival games, and the whole thing ends with a big fireworks show. What you say we split the check and head over? Flag down the waiter then. Let's get out of here. Sorry, I'm being such a kid. Even when we lived in Alligator, Jersey, my family would drive into the city for the big festival. Thanks for indulging me. As a reward, you get to pick the first thing we do. No, no, I've been coming here since I was little. It's your first time. What looks fun to you? I know we just ate, but I like festival food. But I guess since we're here, we should play a game. Oh, I love carnival games. Karen told me you were pretty competitive. Not like, in a bad way. Tell you what, if you win me that big platypus doll, I'll definitely be impressed. A reward? Win the game first, buddy, and then we'll talk. Ooh. Haha, <laughs> what a night. That guy in the bear costume and all the pretty lights? You know, for a first timer, you really seem to be warming up to the festival. Festival food is where stomachs start to feel regret. Yeah, but like the smell and the the foodie pics. Like you gotta get it for the gram. I'm relieved you had fun. You never know with this kind of thing. I... 
I really wanted you to have a good time. To be honest, I wasn't sure I wasn't even going to come out tonight. Oh no. A lot of people are scared of me. Would you believe me? The knife? It's not like I'm some kind of scary gangster roaming the streets at night and showing up wherever, repeatedly challenging the same person to endless street brawls. Why are you getting so close? While slowly building my reputation as a mad dog who will fight anyone and anything relentlessly punishing all of those who stand in my way of my personal goals. Hey, it looks like the fireworks are starting. Come with me, I know the perfect place to watch. <laughs> wow, we're actually on the rooftop. <laughs> what I tell you, the view from here is incredible, right? I, I had fun tonight. I hope you did too. For Karen's sake, I mean, she takes matchmaking really seriously, and she's been hounding me for months to finally meet you. Ugh, why am I talking about Karen right now? Come on, just say the right thing. I guess what I'm really trying to say here is, I'm so glad I met you. You seem like a great person, and it was cool hanging out. We should do this again sometime. Wow. <laughs> what? We lost? What did we do wrong? We didn't make him blushy enough. We weren't charming. My riz. It didn't work. <laughs> hey, we have to try again. There's no way. Great. Okay, let's go. Oh, is that how we know we win? <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Alright, how we make him blushy. Trying to woo-woo him. Okay, let's see. Um. Okay, so a trip to the zoo probably wasn't the best. Or, a trip to the beach. Maybe a nice stroll to the botanical garden is more his style. There were flowers there. It's a romantic setting. Fun day at the zoo is fun, but there's... I mean, this could go multiple ways. I guess that's true. Um... I don't know if he'd like the zoo. But if the plans are... Doing something fun, and then going to eat, and then doing something else afterwards. I feel like the garden makes sense during the day, right? Okay. Let's go! OMG! I, You picked my favorite place in the whole city? You have good taste. I actually love all the trees around the school. It's a nice piece of greenery in the big city, right? Sorry, I'm breaking character. <clears throat> Here we are at the imaginary botanical garden. Wow! Look at these beautiful peonies. I hope the roses are in season. Their bloom quality is to die for. Even the rock garden looks amazing. What? You think I look amazing too? That's so sweet of you to say. I'm glad we're doing this. It's been a while since I've been on a real date, like with an itinerary. Yeah, uh huh. And then. Yeah, special. Yes. Okay, well, he likes the flowers, obviously. You get more flowers. You're welcome. Okay, so then we go to... Somewhere cool. Yay! And then, talking about his kiddos. And, okay, so this didn't work. Talk about his beautiful, shiny scales. I'm so happy you noticed. It's been so long since I've been on a date that Karen took me out to get them polished. Wow. Look at that shine. Not into being pampered usually, but now I'm glad I did it. And I could definitely get used to all the attention, especially from you. You know, your scales have a beautiful shine too. You must spend hours maintaining them. Wow, thanks. Yeah, you do look like you spend some time at the gym. How did you know? What's with these guns? You can tell from these guns. <laughs> Stop me if I'm being too forward, but... I feel like I can really be myself around you. It's been a while since I've done this. Uh-huh. And then we're going to the city. Okay. 
Okay. And then... The Carnival game had the little heart, right? I feel like I'm not going crazy. Yes! Oh, I love Carnival games. Mm -hmm. And then I won you the big plushie. And then you said, wow! Oh. Yeah, why, why would you be shy about meeting me? Yes. <laughs> to the fireworks! So, did you have a good time? Tonight was- yay! Tonight was so special and I really want to keep this going. If you don't mind me being a little old-fashioned. Will you go out with me? Oh my goodness. You're just gonna ask me that? On the spot? <laughs> Riz achieved. Oh my gosh, look at the little blushies. Wow, that was actually kind of freaking magical, if I'm being toast real with you. <laughs> wow, I really feel like I learned a lot, actually. That's right. You learned from the good old Riz master. I feel kind of funny now. Kind of flappy in my guts. It must be that knuckle sandwich coming back to haunt me. <laughs> yeah, that's the ticket. That said, I don't really know a lot about the event, but I know that I'll be there at least, on account of being invited by Pat's mom. Maybe we can hang out. At the event, I mean. Not like, outside of it. Like, it's a thing. <laughs> Natural laughter. <laughs> Absolutely rizzed out of his mind. Just too good. Hey, city pal! Just wondering, since we've been texting a bunch, um... Have you heard of 9th Street Station at all? I have not. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't think so. So, well, it's been closed for a few years. Not a lot going on there since then. It's still got some of the most beautiful architecture of all the underground stops in the city, IMO. I really like to go there, actually. I was just thinking, um, if you ever wanted to stop by there, maybe I could meet you. We're gonna meet our secret texter? Bro was flustered. You know it. No pressure or anything. Probably have to really help a conductor out to even get access. It's pretty underground. Oh, I didn't even know we could scroll like this. That's cool. Bravo. Okay, I was actually on the floor that time, but I'd fallen unrelated to laughing. Anyway, haha, don't worry about 9th Street. You can forget what I said. If you want. Haha. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> well, now you got me curious. It's 6.15. I think we can go meet a fella. So meet our have have meet our secret buddy. Uh wait. Is it not? How do we get uh oh. Uh so it was underground? How do we get there, though? Is it, uh, the FUN district? Oh, a little old granny. Whoa, look at her. It's shuffling those cards. Look at her go. Okay, well... Err... can't recall what he said. Is it downtown? He just said underground, but I didn't see anything. I, I have not seen a little... I saw the sewer, but that didn't give us anything. It gave us a little, a little <laughs> puzzle piece. Where are you? Uh-oh, it's time! Hey! Are you there? It's Pat, 1-1. One, one. Sad face, sad face. I know we haven't figured out what the family's told in a fairy secret is yet. Well, but maybe if we'd walk there together, I'd feel safer. Is that okay? I'm on my way. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to find out later. We gotta see... We gotta be an escort to good old Pat. It's time. Who's this? Are you... 
Well, hello and pleasant evening, my good chum. Didn't mean to startle you. Oh no, I didn't mean to startle you. Not I, hee hee hoo. You see, it is within my very nature to skulk mysteriously around corners and the like in deaf silence. As my mother was a mysterious slipper designer, my father was mysteriously absent. <laughs> oh no. Well, unfortunately, we can't talk too much. I must be going. Yes, bubs. Welcome back, esteemed guest. I'm afraid our kitchen is closed early for a closed event in the hotel ballroom tonight. I provided Mr. Pat with some complimentary stale oyster crackers and tap water. If you'll follow me, I can show you to his room. Please show me, bubs. Pardon me, we'll begin walking at your leisure. Shoo! 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 We're walking so fast. My, what beautiful wallpaper we have. So rich and distracting. Shoo! 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 And we made it. We made it. We're here. <laughs> We've arrived. Please inform Mr. Pat he can't have any more tap waters after you knock. Alright, Pat. I'm so glad you came back. I've just been guzzling tap waters and stress eating these funny crackers the waiter gave me. Even though I'm not going to wear them, I went and got all my shoes out anyways. I think just for the company. Scary being alone in here. And now the event is about to begin, but maybe since you're here, nothing bad will happen. Oh, Pat. This counts as something bad happening. Did, do you have a flashlight? I'm scared of the dark. And a flashlight, but slightly less, so... Here's the flashlight. Hey, you found one! Do I look like that one video by Alligator Queen? Hopefully with this we can make it through the quarters of the hotel to the ballroom where the event is safely. Just walk really close to me, okay? We have no way of telling who or what is out in those twisty halls. Embark in the dark, the navigator. <laughs> Let's go. The power is out. Click and hold to guide Pat through the dark hotel. Truly a classic rock band. You know, Pat loves... Oh, okay, we, we walk and... Yay. Carefully, Pat. Oh. Okay. Ah, I didn't realize we had, like, a little cam here. Of our view. Um. We walk in. Is this it? This is not it. Oh, here's another hallway. Lead the way, Pat. I don't know if this is towards the ballroom. Where could it possibly be? Oh, we just went in a circle. Whoopsies. Oh, no! Oh, it's Marty, no! Please, anything but Marty! Okay, run away from Marty. Yeah. Okay, well then, which way do we go? We just came from here. So I think it's this way? What is this? Is this it? Nope. <clears throat> it is way too scary. Oh, I think this is it. Or can I not go in? Can he not go in? The door is open. The literally is left the jar open. Okay, I guess this is not it. We walk in. Uh, oh, there's a spooky room there. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that guy again? Wonder what that pink stuff is. Probably nothing corrosive with a hefty half life. Is 
But this is the hallway to the room, is it not? Oh, there's another person in there. Why is everybody just hiding out in the dark like this? Pat, that's... a mirror. Uh, self-examination. Same. Okay, didn't we... just... Okay, we went around then. I don't... No. I guess we have to go down this way. Nope, there's a painting over there. He didn't explore this way. Very, I don't think this very obviously does not go to a... Uh, to a ballroom, I don't think. Oh, but this is another room. What is this? Just a wall? Or some kind of... Oh. <laughs> no, it's following me! I should have never bought that dresser from Nanaru. The deal was as scary as its obvious possession. Just too spooky scary. Was all this stuff stuff blocking the way? Yeah, there's the big old scary thing. Uh we go round. What is this? Anything down here? This is a very big hotel. <laughs> There's just something unwholesome about reading graphic novels in the pitch dark sediment of a broken hotel wall. Anime Expo be like. Nope. Did you see it move? I think I saw it move. Calm down, Pat. Where is the ballroom? There's a little play, like little whatever loot player. Oh, I think we found it. There's no free in anime, free space in anime expo, so you're forced to be in the walls. Gasp! <gasps> wow! Happy birthday, Pat! Happy. 420! Silly little tyke. Go and have a blast on your birthday. Look at all the people who came to visit. It's everybody we talked to. Happy <laughs> 420, blaze it. We can talk to so many people. Having to sit still for this long is harder than the time I did a squat-a-thon and my pants split due to the meaty glued offshoot. Wow, he is extra thick. At least then I got new yoga pants and raised a hundred dollars for guys without thighs. It's an important organization, Broyoko. Is the Bebu, the haunted baby. Agoo. Hi, birthday party. I'm dad. Ha 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 ha. Ah yeah, dadded you good there, champ. Now go go eat, go eat some cake. Yum cake. Mercy, it's been a dog's age since I've been to a swinging shindig. You know of any? Ha ha ha. I'm just kidding. Mostly. Nana's on the prowl. She wants to get back into the dating game. Maybe she should date the knife. So, Obi and Moldy, you down for another heist? Sorry to pull you back in the game, but with a cake like this, how can you resist one last score? <laughs> good evening and good morrow, friend. What an auspicious sign that we have crossed paths once more. Perhaps we have some unknown star named connection, or you really want to read my zine about cool wizards. Check it out, I have a whole chapter dedicated to Topicus the Groovy. <gasps> the couple. It's them. 
You guys should have seen your faces when you came in. I took like a thousand pics. Cat looked like he thought he was going to die or something. Oh well. Hold on, I'm totally live blogging this. Hey there, I got worried you guys wouldn't make it on account of the blackout. Pat's scared of the dark. And hallways. And parties, come to think of it. This usually doesn't end as well as this, is what I'm saying. Yeah. How are you faring over there, little guy? Oh, oh hi again! You found me, hee <laughs> hee! Thanks for always playing, next time I'll look for you! Oh, look at Pat, he's just having a good time. Hey, put her there, old Patly. It's time for an old-fashioned handshake. Just ignore the snail trail. I'm told it's full of vitamins and helps with drying. <laughs> and that it comes out of my limbs and leaves you crying. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> hey, where you going? Hey, come back. Hey. Hey, thanks for earlier. I ended up canceling that date, but not because I was nervous anymore. I was actually kind of wondering if... Oh. You were... Pre? Wow, asking me? You're gonna ask me on a date? You know, maybe we could go to a real restaurant, or like, roll some hot dog buns at Fat Seagulls down at Alligator Coney Island. And no pressure. Wow. Well, Pat, what do you think? I'm so happy! I wasn't getting rubbed out. I was getting birthday clout. Wow. Birthday clout. So nice to have my beloved family here with me. We're going to take a big family photo and everything. That means you too, if that's okay. Me? I'm family now? Everything you did for me today it really meant so much to me. You're a really special friend. I can't thank you enough. Oh, come on. Everything is ready for the photo. Except for you. Follow me. Are we going to take a pic? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we... It's our, our gator Sona. <laughs> Which snoot appeals to you? <laughs> wow, we have so many choices. There's so many. Okay, I liked the the single tooth, the big one. The big single tooth. Yeah, happy. He oh. We can choose our gator skin color. Our scale color, if you will. I'm gonna go with like a light medium. Oh, we can have multiple teeth. No, I like the one big tooth. One big tooth. We got our our beautiful soulful eyes. Oh, <laughs> soulful eyes. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's perfect. <gasps> and we can choose the color too. Okay, we don't have to go brown. Beautiful soulful chocolate eyes. Oh, we got a couple. We can have a bow tie or a tie tie, a necktie. Let's go with. I like the bow tie. Oh, we can pick the color of the tie too. We go with blue. How about our hair? <laughs> Which hair is the most calico hair? This one's pretty close. Oh, this one. Hmm. It's kind of long though. Like the short one. Or we can have a pat hat. Ooh. So many. We have so many to choose from. How can we choose? A cowboy hat? No way. Okay, I liked the this this one of these ones is probably the closest. I'll go with this one. Um, you're like, actually this color, I guess, is the, the closest thing. No glasses, but let's see what we got. We could have glasses. Okay, this is good. The deepest customization. It was all worth it in the end. We're done! Yay! 
Happy birthday, Pat. Congratulations! We did it! Wow! Maybe I should move to the other side so you can be... Oh, that's the wrong one. Where am I? I'm right here. Let me scoot over. Let me scoot over. Maybe right here with Pat. Yay! Happy birthday! Congratulations! All done. Good night, Pat. Ooh. The game is won, the story ends sweet, but though it seems done, has this all been deceit? Gasp. There's more? What's really going on? Does our tale end right here? The more family come upon, the more truth will grow clear. It was all a, all a, all a scam. There is more to be had! Oh no! That means we'll have to come back to explore Alligator New York City. Oh my god. Special thanks to our therapists. I'm glad they got the top credit. Yeah, Neil Cesiriga and Ming Doyle. <laughs> you unlocked pet game skip! More mysteries await you in Alligator New York City. Oh, jeez. Nice. Hey. <laughs> wow, that actually worked out perfectly because I was planning on ending at 11. So, good timing on all of that. We solved the mystery just on time. Or did we? Hmm. I'll definitely come back and play some more games. Yeah, it's 11. <laughs> it's pretty long, actually, just for the base game. But there's, like, so many gators we didn't even get to talk to. It was very cute. I'm glad all the gators had their own sense of speaking style. Very unique. We could have gotten to see more, honestly. But, you know, that just means we come back later. We've had a nice tiny vacation visiting the city, don't you think? Mm. <laughs> yeah, it was very cute. All those gators were very cute. <laughs> Anyways. We'll call it a night here. Um, I know there was another Splatfest announced, but I don't know when it's supposed to happen. Um, but I'll take a look and see. Ooh, which team am I this time? Um, so, like... I'm not much of a Zelda game player, but if I was just opted into like any of these three choices, I think it's pretty... The only sane option, thick Zorlda. Gotta stay with my boiling. Oh, you're gonna be Team Courage? I've gotta go with uh, Rehydrated Ganondorf on <laughs> this one. <laughs> team Power. What else? would this cute, sweet little face want besides more power. Don't you agree? Is Addy Dwarf exactly? <laughs> why haven't- why have wisdom or courage when you could just have power? Then everybody thinks you have both. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I gotta- Get some work done tonight. Power loses in every game? Nah, don't say that. It's gonna, it's gotta win in one time. <laughs> Hopefully they lose this one. <laughs> no! <laughs> Can't lose another splat fest. Hurts so bad. 
<laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I gotta look into when it's actually happening, because, uh, I forgot. Strength to the Courage fans. I know, honestly, Big Man does deserve a win. So, if he won, I wouldn't be too upset. <laughs> and then if um, Zelda wins, I'd just be like, well, everybody just wants their waifu Zelda to be number one. <laughs> yeah, Big Man needs his sweep. Big Man sweep! Okay. Can't stall too much. It was fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. Had a good time. Nice little... Nice little jaunt. Time to think girl will equal win. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I feel like it's gonna be a tough call. I mean, I honestly thought this it would be pretty evenly split with the Pokemon one too, between the starters. But, you know, my pick ended up winning, so... I'm just saying. Yeah, have a good night, guys. I'll catch you later in the next stream. And be sure to like and subscribe. And actually, um, we just hit like 500 views on, the, on my channel. Just like overall. So that's nice. Getting some viewership. Wow! But it hopefully keeps going up. Thanks for joining and keeping me company. You get them viewers, let's go! Nice! Perfect gator emoji <laughs> for this stream. Anyways, oh, I thought it was locked. There we go. Hey, see you next time, guys. Bye bye! Callie P signing off.